Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man FE. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in you. Already know what that's about, you know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task, check the podcast. It's the champ in the tramp, let the bomb blast. We're ready to rip. We Let's can let go. it fly. Want to rip? You ready, Frank? Let's you ready, go. boys? Let's go. Testing one, two, three. We're good. We're good. We've got a good one for the ladies out there, especially the ladies. But uh, we've got Roger. Frank Roger and, excited. and Roger. Roger's excited. Okay, he guys. gets excited. He gets okay. excited. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Frank Catania from Real Housewives of New Jersey in studio. Um, yeah, I've recently, I feel like Frank and I were friends for two years and never met each other, and then we finally met each other, and uh, yeah, I've kind of just recently got to know Frank, but good dude, well-loved on the uh, Real Wives of uh, New Jersey, and um, yeah, what's going on, brother? Good to have you in studio. It's, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it very much, Frank. Thank you, Roger. We've been going back and forth. We have. For what, like two years? I feel like it was two years, yeah. Right? That's when we finally did meet up yep. with, the, with the girls. Yep. It, it, was, it was like I, I knew. I feel like I knew you already, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was so relaxing. <laughs> it was just a good time. And I, listen, I'm happy to be here. Normally, I'm doing a podcast, always Real Housewives in New Jersey. It's the women. This is the mm-hmm. dudes. Right? The yeah, dudes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel, I feel like, all right, yeah, I'm in my right place. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, the bros. Are you an MMA fan at all? Um, yes, I am. Are you? Yes, I am. Awesome. Yes, yep, and so. Um, I've seen Frankie many, many times, bro. That's why I, I'm a little bit starstruck. You know? <laughs> no, no. Right? I'm, Good sure. deal. For Good sure. deal. Yeah, I'm not into hey. traditional sports really at all. Basketball, baseball, none of them really. I mean, I watch them, especially like football. But I've always been an MMA fan. Always been since UFC won. So it's kind of. I, yeah. I just think I think it's a great sport. I do too. And I think it just caught on fire. Fastest oh, yeah. growing sport oh, yeah. in the world, yeah. they say. Yeah. It's the most relatable. To, mm-hmm. You know, cross. Ethnics, backgrounds, religions, countries, everybody gets fighting. Everybody, and everybody should learn some kind of MMA. Oh, yeah. I was talking to Roger earlier about my daughter. My daughter did Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for, I guess, five, six years, and then she went away to college. But it makes, as a father, it just makes you feel so much better. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You can def- defend yourself. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, so, yes, I am a fan. You're 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 a big dude. Obviously, you're you're in good shape. You, did you you ever trained at all? Or? I, I trained with my daughter for yep. a while. And, and, and listen to me. <laughs> what I have, what I had, is for show. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go. <laughs> Frank, I respect what you guys do. Same. I am out of breath. Same. No time. All right? yep. We're a big family. We're a big family of wrestlers. A lot of wrestlers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. A lot of wrestlers right. in our family. Love um, it. And you know, I, I've grown up with a bunch of wrestlers. I used to train with Nick Soriano. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Nikki. yep, yep. And, and so it's just uh, yeah, it's, 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 listen, boxing is rough. Yeah, once you start grappling and wrestling, yep. you're going for five minutes. Exactly. No, that's all different. Ones. <laughs> Don't you think that's kind of the thing? I mean, like guys in Jersey, right? We're big guys, generally speaking. Like a lot of dudes run gear. I've run some gear in my day. I'm pretty sure Frank's run some gear in his day. But our gas tanks aren't real big. We're barroom brawlers. If it lasts more than 30 seconds, we're done. You know what I mean? <laughs> Roger, no true words ever been spoken. <laughs> Absolutely. For yeah. sure. I better get it done. I better. I said, if I'm not done, if I haven't beaten somebody, in a, it, it, I may be a minute on a good night. Yeah. You know, I just throw my Exactly. Yeah. 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 All right. Shake, my, shake, my, shake my, hands, my, my, good job. <laughs> my record in the streets is really good, but you think I'm crossing over into that octagon? Nah, no, nah, no chance. Nah, nah, no nah, chance. You're too old, bro. I'm too old. <laughs> I did train for a little bit um, late in life. I, I, I feel like like if that's going to be your go if you're going to try to make a go of fighting you need a, a some sort of pedigree either in wrestling or so, you need a base right wrestling being the best one by far i didn't my school didn't even offer it i think i would have done it if it my school i went to such a tiny school in, in a little town in maine we didn't offer it so i didn't have that base but i was always a fan and as soon as this guy started training people i was there kind of how i got to be his friend really i was like i'm just gonna go and be a stalker but i'll show up in person and and uh you know haunt him on the mat so i did train for a couple years so have you guys met? We met through through well, I shouldn't say that. We met through mutual friends, but I didn't know him well. I was, okay. you know, I, was, I didn't know him well enough to have his phone number or show up at his house at barbecues and <laughs> But then when he started training people at this place called The Barn, kind of a legendary place if you know anything about Jersey and and training, um 
I was like, I'm there. I think you, what, you did two two classes a week or something? Yeah, one, or one right. a week. Was it one, week, maybe one a week, yeah. Long, long time ago, but yeah, it, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. Roger would come in. <laughs> yeah, he was, he's, he fucking 250 pounds. You know, there's not <laughs> many 250 pound guys around, so to match him up with people was always tough. There was this one kid. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pick on the kid. I, I I think I can pay him a compliment. He was he was young. This kid was young. I believe Frankie. You know the the, the dad. And yes, you know the kid. Yeah, I think yeah, he lost exactly, like a yeah. ton of weight, right? Yeah, he did. He did. Like, he like did. kid, I guess now is in shape. But back then, this kid. I, if I was two fifty, this kid was three fifty. And Frankie would always be like, Roger, you 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 go with the big guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd have to fireman carry this guy like run laps around, and he'd have to do it to me too. But he was way bigger than me. And I'm like, motherfucker, I got to go with that guy again. You know. So. Uh yes, it's it's very. <laughs> My my hat's off to you, bro. God, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. He's retired now, so here we are doing this. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm walking in here. I met his beautiful family. It's uh -huh. well worth it, bro. Yeah, yeah. thank you, well thank you for sure. And, and you're and, and you're incredible yeah. dog too. Yeah, yeah. Right. Dog. Speaking of retired, man, are we gonna are we gonna? I mean, listen. Uh, I, I should start out by saying. I don't know a girl that I've met yet that is not a fan of you. Frankie's mom's a fan. Frankie's yeah. sister's a yeah. fan. My girl's a fan. Everybody I know like, is a fan of you. So people want the girls want to know: Are you coming back? Are you are you coming back to a new season? Or are you retiring? Are you are you are you opting out? It was a rough year this year. Yeah, it was a rough year this year. Um, the, the jury's still out on that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We don't even know when we're when we're gonna film. Really? So the jury's out on that. Last year, my girlfriend you know started to film some episodes, and more and more. So it's listen. I don't have to tell you, but you know the situation. Yeah. yeah. It puts a strain on your relationship. Sure does. Right? It puts a strain. Sure on your does. Relationship. And I, the reason I believe that I'm liked by most people is I try to stay neutral. Yes. You always try to stay neutral. I I, I support everybody but this year it just got so bad it, it, you, you couldn't be yeah. you, you know you get involved once you get involved next thing you know this group doesn't like you that group doesn't like you uh, you can't please anybody yep. do, do you get pressure from the producers to kind of mix it up and, and you know create a little drama frankie i gotta tell you something they don't have to Mm -hmm. this right it, now, oh, it, just, it, yeah. it, you put us together. Why? Well, just, just the chemistry. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. Especially the, the thing about the guys. No other franchise has the, the guys like we are. Mm -hmm. right? We go out, we have a great time. You know, guy stuff. Yeah. You know, the thing that the three of us would do. That's what I do it on the show. But now because there's some dissension and there's almost like a a, a, a split in the guys. It's not like it used to be. Mm. You know, it's not like it used to be. After the show was done filming and the cameras weren't running, we still got to dinner yeah. together. Yeah. Nah. And I do. I miss that. I miss that. And I hope it comes back. I really do. Yeah. yeah. So it's, there was a dynamic outside of the show that you guys all shared. Absolutely. Okay. And, and I think it carried over onto the film. Yeah. Well, it would make yeah. it more authentic, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, you know, the sh every year we do shit is so outrageous. The guys that you see, we can't top this. Yeah. The next year, it's we top. They top yeah. it, yeah. You know, and usually it's Joe Gorga and, and myself. Uh, we went to we went to Nashville one time, and we had this contest with the hot wings. It was so hot, <laughs> your stomach bothers you to the point where you want to make yourself throw up. <laughs> so. Earlier today, we go on a boat. And Joe buys me a set of balls. And I saw that episode. Right? I saw and, that. And this fly is going to drive me <laughs> nuts, man. So, basically, we cut the, cut the dildo off, all right? Because it busts my balls. All right, man, listen, I've been I've been doing a gear for many, many years. Okay, so my balls ain't exactly huge. Right? I got two kids. That's all I want. Yeah, right? it's all right. I had, so, they were big enough for that. So, so next, you know, Joe is now, at the end of the night, we had these hot wings. He wants, He's trying to throw up. Get me something to throw up because he's, he's got these little short stubby fingers. Right? They, they don't go far enough, down, far enough down his throat. So I look around. The only thing laying around is this dildo. You gave it to him. Down his. No, he did oh, not. Damn. No, no, he what? did not. To the point where he. I mean, he threw up. He threw up everything in his stomach. Wait a minute. Was this on air? I don't remember uh, seeing yes, this. Yes, it was on air. But what they did is they put the little cubes. Uh, and he's throwing up. Yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's next level right there. That is next level. We have fun, though. We do have fun. He, so he put a dildo in his mouth to throw up. <laughs> Roger yeah, puts yeah, a dildo in his mouth just to have fun. Here we he go. just does that to Here show up. He does that Here to show go. up. Here we go. Frankie's got one joke on repeat. That's what he's got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, teach their own, bro. God bless you, bro. There seems to be, like you said, a real camaraderie, but, I mean, you're the big dude on the show. You're the biggest dude on the show, and you seem to stay out of all of it. You literally seem to stay out of all of it. I said to, when I first started, before I knew you, a couple yeah. years back, the girl was obsessed with the show, loves to watch it, and... Um, 
you know, I was like, who's who's the big dude? He never gets involved in the drama. How, have you always been programmed that way? Always, always just pretty, pretty level-headed? Much, pretty, pretty much so. Yeah. I've always, and you're trying to, listen, life's too short. Yeah. I mean, my mom passed away in 2007. I got to be honest, changed my life. Yeah. Changed my life. You realize what means something. I agree. And ever since then, nothing's that important. Mm. Man, listen, you're healthy. You're not, it's not that important. Yep. So when they argue and they go back and forth, it's like, oh, here we go. You yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Every once in a while, I got to step in and stop two people from going at it. Uh, and that's that's why I think people like not. Right. I wish it was because I was good looking. I'm a nice guy. Oh, there's plenty of girls out there, everybody, that think you're good looking. Trust me. Trust me. You want to say hello? Look at the camera and say hi, Mary. Mary, what's happening? That's Frankie's mom. <laughs> Mary, forget that. <laughs> uh, damn. Oh, for sure, man. Oh, that's good, man. So who would you say, um, outside of filming, you have the closest camaraderie with? Joe? Uh, yeah, Joe Benigno. Joe. Mark, oh. Margaret's husband. Okay. All right? Same yeah. beliefs. He's just he's the same. The, the motorcycles, yep. the guns, yeah. every, everything. We, we have a lot of com- yep. in common. I think that's why we get along so well. Is I don't. How many times have we tried to schedule a motorcycle ride together and it hasn't happened yet but exactly. dude listen listen i gotta tell you a story you'll, you'll get a kick out of this um can you unplug that thing andrew that thing in the corner sorry um you'll get a kick out of this right this literally is the baddest dude I, you said you came in here you were a little starstruck because you absolutely every day i am this guy's my hero literally i'm not just kissing yeah. his ass he treats me like shit so i shouldn't say that <laughs> but um you know it's it's, it's 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 cool to come down here with him but i've never seen this guy scared in my life he has no emotion this guy right <laughs> fight anybody anytime Put him on a fucking motorcycle, though. Like you'll oh, see some, serious? bro. Well, no, I mean, I'm, I do it. I done it. I've done it. <laughs> He's a little I'm white a, knuckle, yeah. bro, but straight I, ahead. But I, I ride like twice a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if, if he sold it, so he doesn't have to ride oh, anymore. But you used to have a bike. I did. Yeah, I, I had a crotch rocket for a while. Then I won a, uh, I won a Harley doing Ultimate Fighter show. Um, so yeah, so I had, I had one for a while. I just never, never really rode it much. No. I'm just saying for all, all you guys out there that have fought Frankie and stared at him across the cage and never seen. An ounce of fear in his eyes. I've seen fear in his hey, eyes. Hey, listen, this, I, I was that scared, but I still got on that. You bitch. did. You All absolutely right? did. All right. You oh, did. Yeah. 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 What? Not like around the town, like on I ninety five when there's two dump trucks on either side yeah, of us. That's rough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I am. <laughs> this fucking guy. So his buddy's got like a cigar in his mouth, one hand on a, on the, the handlebars. I'm like, hell, I'm like fucking squeezing the <laughs> shit out. Riding wheelies. Down. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's another level. He used to sit on on the gas tank, ride wheelies. Yeah. Yeah. Man, back in the day, up. back in the day. <laughs> I sit on the gas tank now, man. That, thing, that front wheel's not coming up. <laughs> that front wheel's not coming up. What kind of bike, yeah? I got a Harley. Harley, yeah. 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 We, we've listen. I've been in every kind of business. We've home. I go into Harley dealerships. Oh, and, wow. uh, and it's, uh, people don't realize, especially when you get older. And I'm a lot older than you guys. Especially when you get older, guys, riding a Harley. It's relaxing. I agree. Yeah. It's relaxing. It is a tough state to ride in, though. New Jersey, because it's so populated, it is the the home of elder the elderly. Oh, There's retirement oh, villages County, everywhere. Sure. Yeah. So especially down here, everybody comes down here. If they're if they don't go to Florida, they're in Ocean County, yeah. right? So you 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 have to be a defensive driver. Obviously, it, it is dangerous. But I, I'll never not ride. I'll always ride. Always. And I, I feel the yeah. same way. I feel the same. I got yeah. I had a really bad injury about four years ago. I sold all my bikes at the time yeah. because I thought I was done riding. I tore both my quads at the same oh. time. How? How? Um, the, the, Frank, I, I missed a step, one step. Not squatting 600 pounds, <laughs> not doing something crazy. Yeah. I, I missed one step. My one leg twisted. Next thing you know, the weight shifted. And I'm like, now we're speaking in Holiday City, no less. We're, no we're, shit. We're, we're renovating a house. <laughs> And I go down, and I'm down, and now I look down, my kneecaps down by my shin. Oh my I, I can't move. Uh, so now I'm like, oh my god, we call the police. And over at Holly City, the first thing that shows up is the morgue. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the second my buddy was there. He's like, no, I'll keep going. So, but anyway, I came back, I bounced back, knock on wood, and I ended up getting another Harley, and I've never ridden so much. Yep, I've uh, never yep. ridden so much. I love it. We have yet to ride together, but we will. Summer's just started, so Absolutely. we will. We literally, he's got a shore house literally right across the street from me. He's a mile away from yeah, me, yes. so. Yep. Um, definitely, but. Speaking of careers, man, you you've been pretty well defined over the years. You were a personal trainer. That's how you met Brittany, actually, your yes, girlfriend, right? Exactly. You were a personal trainer. You were an attorney. You've owned gyms. You've my man. You've you've done it all. You've done it all. You're you wearing a dispensary shirt here. Yeah. Now that your newest venture is in the dispensary business, correct? Absolutely. The entire <laughs> cannabis business then to deal with. We go from grow to the manufacturing to the sale of it. Uh, every aspect. Every aspect. And with, with, I mean, that, that excites me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I used to own the gyms, and you know. 
it's, it's, I was happy to get out of it. I was happy. Then I get bored. When I get bored, and I say, oh, you're like almost like depressed. They're taking mm. a nap at three o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. You know. And then this started about three years ago. And, and guys, this this is definitely just just put a new life in me. That's awesome. Put man. a new life in me. A gym business is a tough business. I learned it from this guy. He was in the gym business for a while too. Yeah. Absolutely, it's rough. Yeah. We you know it, we always had the franchises. Whether it was a powerhouse gym, whether it was a Gold's gym. Mm. And it, it, Guys, it's the only business. Think about this. You guys are a little younger, but 20, 25 years ago, mm-hmm. you paid four more for a gym membership than you do now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Think about mm-hmm. it. Right? How, how do you do that's, it? That's uh, because of the competitive nature of it, right? The fact yeah, that there right. used to be so many. two gyms in a town, and now there's 12, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. exactly. Small no, boxes, big boxes. Yeah. No. Yeah. And so I, th- I was happy to get out of the gyms. Knock on wood, everything worked out. Uh, we ended up selling them, and, and you know, we always had a construction company. I was a lawyer. I was a prosecutor for the city of Hackensack. You, you name it. I, I've done it. So that's, uh, how old are you? 59. Get out. Yeah, wow. bro. Wow, you look great, man. I try to keep good, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, better, yeah. better. Frankie doesn't pay compliments, so this yeah. might be the first one I've ever heard. Yeah. 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 Better, better living through chemistry, bro. Yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey that's, I'm, I'm down. I'm, right. you, you feel good, right? If you feel good, that's all that matters. Dude, I feel yeah. great. I, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I do. Um, I was talking to Roger about it earlier. You, dude, I just, I just, I love my life. I, lo- I love life, not my life. I just love life. Yeah. You know? Every day you wake up, it's not a cliche, mm-hmm. right? Dude, I have across my back, right, a Nickelback song. All right. Every day is a gift, not a given right. Mm. All right. So one day I got an appearance at NBC in the city. All right. And now I'm looking over. You got to check in into security here. So I'm checking in. It was nice. People asking me to take a picture with me and everything else. I look over. I see a guy. I recognize. I don't recognize. I, see, I look. And then I realize it's fucking Chad from the, the lead singer from Nickelback. Get out of here. I say, hey, bro. What's up, man? How you doing? He's looking at me. I said, I said, you don't understand something, man. I got you on my back. He looks at me like that. He's like, oh, excuse me? Yeah. No, 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 not like that. I got your lyrics on my back. All right? that, that, yeah, so. I, so. Were they uh, photographed? Was that there? What's that? Yeah. Photograph, oh, right? Yeah, photograph. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They, believe it or not, Nickelback was a good group. Yeah. They get a yeah. lot of flack. They get a lot of flack. They get they a do. lot of flack. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so lately, they, lately they have, for sure. So, but back in the day, they, they were they were riding high. They were riding high. Uh, so, yeah, I, listen, I'm one of those guys. I'm back in the day with the disco. I'm then they got the freestyle. I do the dance. I do the hard rock. I do everything. Yeah, yeah. It's best. Do everything. I'm a fan of music, man. I, I'll tell you what I'm getting more into lately is country. They align with my beliefs, uh, Roger. And I grew up in the country and never liked it growing up. And now I find myself and is I main really the country though. I don't know what. So what do you call it? It's it's small town living. It's 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 on the the shores of Maine. So it's a so I don't know. Everybody's like you know how did you? I always say small town living, redneck. What I don't know how the to sticks, define it. The, the sticks. sticks. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. small town living, but. Yeah. Country, country i'm thinking like i mean there was plenty you know there was plenty of farms and we just weren't in the midwest where there's tornadoes and thousand acre cornfields yeah. and shit like that it wasn't like that but you know so so uh, i don't know i still i still call myself a redneck to this redneck. day yeah right. so <laughs> but uh i'm proud of my roots i'm actually going up there next week my my dad and my sister were just here my sister lives in michigan now my dad will is born and raised in maine and he'll die there but he flew to michigan spent about a week out there fishing with my sister um, um, they live right on the river out there, and uh, they were fit walleye fishing. And my yeah, sister's a big wall. She, my sister's the son my dad always wanted, <laughs> you know. So I say that lovingly. I love my sister, but um, he was out there for a week, and then he's my dad's seventy five, you know, and he had a he had a quadruple bypass a few years ago, but he's trying to get trying to get the good the good times in with the family while he still can, and they road tripped it like. 12 hours to my house spent the weekend with me and then uh july 4th week i'm going up to spend up with them so yeah 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 good for you my sister just got selected for the moose lottery in maine so my dad's got this big hunt plan for uh, i think it's october they're going moose hunting and moose lottery you you got to get you have to apply and when i was a kid when i lived in maine i applied every year it's hard to get picked there's people that have applied their whole life and never got it and uh she got a a cow permit she can't shoot a bull which is kind of like the sought after one but She's uh she got picked for for a cow, but it's way up in Aroostook County. It's oh you know God. Maine's a huge state, so where we live, it's five hours north where they got to go. He rented a lodge. He got a guide. He got the, they're going all in. You know what I mean? So, like I said, the, my sister's the son my dad always wanted. You know, so so um no, I say that with moose, love. Moose, she said. Moose, yeah, they're thousands. Moose meat good. Her elk is great. I think elk probably, and I've only eaten elk a couple times because you you know there's not a lot of elk over here on the northeast, but. Um, 
I've had elk meat. I think it is pretty amazing, and I think it's probably one of the most nutritious for you. Uh, deer meat, I would say we have the white-tailed deer here. I think mule deer are out west. Uh, white-tailed deer is, is really good, um, and I don't know where moose meat would rank, but as far as taste, I'd rank it a little lower. Mm-hmm. You know, Bear meat even lower than that. You ever you had bear you meat? You don't hunt, right? I didn't know it. <clears throat> for fucking I, Jersey, come I, on. I don't, I don't hunt. What am I going to hunt? I, you know, I, I don't hunt. I, I hunt cougars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in New Jersey for 25 years years i'm a huge 2a guy yeah. frankie's a big 2a guy now which i love right. you're a 2a guy Absolutely. but I, I i i do it for the premise behind the yeah. 2a i don't do it because i'm a hunter you know they love to define us they love to define the 2a definition all the all the the legislators and politicians as you don't need this for hunting. it has nothing to do with hunting first of all yeah. nothing mm-hmm. so you know but i don't really hunt anymore um I don't know. I think I'm a little more passive. Not that I wouldn't. Like, uh, you know, the last time I was in Maine hunting, I got a nice deer, but uh, that was 15 years ago, you know? So yeah, My daughter's a veterinarian. God forbid. God yeah, yeah. Forbid. She would lose her mind. But yeah. it's for food. I'm not hunting yeah, for sport, exactly. right? If you mm-hmm. eat it. Yes. Because you're, you're deer is yeah. delicious, too. I gotta go with you. Yeah. Unfortunately, no matter where you go in Jersey now, yep. you see dead deer. Deer are all over the place. All over the yep. place. It'd be better off on my... On like, would you rather they be in your table. grill, which is what happens? That's why they have population Sorry. control. On or grill harvested. or in your grill. You know yeah, you yeah. go. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Yeah, for me, I'm I'm all about it. If you're eating what you kill, I'm I'm full full on supporter. Where I'm from, it's low income. A lot of people supplement their you know, especially in the winter time, they'll supplement their freezer with a with a white tailed deer. You know, well, they should get a job instead of sitting in a tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I, I'd like to apologize to him for him there, Downey's Maine. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I was looking at this guy. I'm, I'm side eyeing this. I forgot we had that one over there. <laughs> So yeah, no, where I where I grew up, definitely a lot of people hunt out of necessity to some degree. Not so much that when I was a kid, probably more than now. But um, yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot of parts of the world that it is a necessity. You know what I mean? So it's it's easy. You listen, I can understand. I can understand that. And I'm I'm not one of those people who yeah. criticize you because you do yeah. something. Mm-hmm. I won't do it. Yeah, I won't do it. Exactly. Hey, listen, it's, it's all different people that make the world go round. Hundred percent. I accept them. I accept them. Yep. I mean, can I tell you the show? The one thing the show has done for me because we have a very different demographic we used to now we have much we have a lot more men now mm-hmm. right mm. but it, it changed my entire feeling all right with respect to the entire it, it, listen gay people all right with respect to the gay community it, it, way back when i'm saying to myself oh my god you know two parents being the same sex they're the best parents in the world they're the best parents in the world I've seen. Uh, so it's it's I've changed. I've definitely changed because of the show, but I still have my normal mm-hmm. values. All mm-hmm. right, yeah, on that. So what, the, I'm, I'm curious. I have to I have to dig at that a little bit. Yeah. Does does Real Housewives have a large gay following? Is that they, why they, they've always had? A large they do. Gay, okay. Have a large okay. Gay okay. And let me tell you. When they're on, when they're on, <laughs> Go on ahead, Frankie. Show, Where's your punchline? I know it's coming. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> and when when they're on your side, you can, yeah, you couldn't ask for a better. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Well, when they're against you. Oh, yeah, yeah, forget oh, it. Yes, sure. You know, I'm sure. calling the police. Eddie Murphy. Wow, but I I do enjoy the show. I guys, I do I enjoy it. It's just gotten you know. Hopefully, it gets back to the point where it was, yep. uh, and everyone's friendly again, and it, it's nice. Listen, we we just went out to grab a bite. You know, yep. when we grab out to when people coming up to you, yeah. you know, they love you. Oh, thank you. This and that. You, yep. know, you I, that, yep. I enjoy that. I enjoy you're creating it. a lot of. You're passing the time for a lot of people making good moments you know what 100%, I mean 100% like they, they live life a little vicariously through you yes. you know what I mean and that's there's nothing bad about that until and it happens oftentimes something bad happens that affects your personal life that went on the air you know what I mean and that, that sometimes that happens you know what I mean hey, hey, Roger I've been through it hey, guys <clears throat> Listen, I have a past. Yep. Believe me, I was no, no boy scout. Um, I got arrested for drugs. You name it. I get this barred. And, and people try to you know always throw it at you. Mm. I don't hide it. I own it. Own it. I yeah. own it. If you have no skeletons in your closet, you don't have to worry about people digging them out. And that's the way I've always felt. You know? Yeah. Listen, you want to investigate me? Investigate me because yeah. everything about me is out there already. Yeah. The people who I care about, they all knew about it. So if it comes out to anybody else, yeah. it is what it is. <laughs> Speaking right. of that, let's dig nice into the show a little bit. Oh. Only because you listen, said. Yeah, listen, only like, because you said. 
investigating me. There's a new guy on the show. Listen, I don't know if he's new or not. I don't know a lot about the show, but relatively new compared to you. I consider you an OG. Uh-huh. There's a guy on there, Louie, right, who's Teresa's guy. He's been yes. on a couple seasons now. Yeah. How? Three, uh, that's Teresa's new, Three. Uh, new husband. He had two seasons. Two and seasons. I, 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 I watched the reunion. My girl made me watch it. I love you, so I, I got to support. But I, there was talks. There was multiple people, including you, saying... He investigated all you guys, hired a private eye. Is that true? Did you get investigated? I don't know whether I did. And quite honestly, guys, I don't care. If I, yeah. I, you know, we talked about this earlier. And then Frankie, I don't, if somebody investigated me, investigate me. Yeah. Uh, right. It's what it right. is. Whatever in my past, bring bring it up. Bring right. it up. It's right. already been brought up. My right. kids know about it. Everybody knows about it, which wasn't the issue. Um, me and Louie had a little bit of an issue. Mm-hmm. Right? And quite honestly, which the day after the reunion aired, right, Louie called me. All right? and he said, I'd like to talk. We met. Um, it, we didn't iron things out, but all right, we both spoke our our, our part. And me and Louie are good right now. Mm-hmm. We're good right now. We may not hang out together, you know, mm-hmm. go for a drink together, but we're good right now. Mm-hmm. I see him. I, I say hello, shake his hand. Um, I don't. I'm too old, man. I don't hate that. Yeah. I got questions from from from, from, my, from from family members. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and not that I'm, I didn't watch much reality yeah. show. Not that I, I hate people. I used to be like when I meet people with UFC. Oh, I don't watch UFC. I'm a motherfucker. I didn't ask you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, they I'm, say not, all the time. I'm not one of those guys. But all the time. My my. How did you know Louie did a smear a smear campaign against you? <laughs> That's kind of what I, I just asked. I can't, I can't go into detail with it, but I heard it from the horse's mouth. Okay, okay all right. Okay. I heard it from the horse's mouth. And you're not the only one, right? Yeah. Other yeah. guys. I heard other people on the show saying yeah, other was, you know, husbands. And Louie, when Louie and I spoke, yeah. you know, Louie says, I didn't do that. All right. Yeah. So Louie's position is that I, I felt otherwise. And, and we spoke and we said, listen, you're not going to believe me and I'm not going to believe you. But you want to know something? The fact that you called me to sit down and hear me. Yeah, respect. And, 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 yeah. Respect. Right. Amen. And, Certain things showed up on social media, which mm-hmm. social media is just a disaster. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, it showed up. There's some things that showed up on there, which we ended up getting removed. I didn't care so much about me. Um, there were some there were some nasty comments about some of the other people on there. Really? Right? Uh, so, listen, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's probably a duck. Yeah, you know, exactly. But yep. at the same time, whether Louie did it or didn't do it, right. I'm good with Louie, yep. and, and, and we're good. Yeah. That's where we're at, that, that, and I'm okay with it. Yep. So we may not be. Clear, but I mean, Teresa has been a, a staple of the show since the beginning, right? Teresa, Basically, Teresa is. I still <clears throat> say it, and I said a great relationship with my ex, mm-hmm. my ex wife Dolores. The only reason I'm on the show, and even, you know, she has a new boyfriend, and I don't. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still on the show. We got questions about that too, right, but right. go ahead. So, but it, it, it ends up being, you know, it's. Uh, I still I see Teresa as the most recognizable housewife in yeah. any franchise. I would agree with any that. franchise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's been on a cover of magazines for you. Know, whether you like Teresa, whether you don't like Teresa, then right? there's people out there both sides, both sides. Um, she, she listen, yeah. she is the OG. Yes. We and we were just talking about there. There are aspects of because I think everybody, for the most part, that's into reality TV thinks it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, and and everybody wants to be part of it. And everybody, there are downsides to it. Now, obviously, Teresa had to serve some time yes she did and would that have all happened if it wasn't publicized would that have even come do you, do you think in, that, in that my, would have in, come to fruition if the extravagant lifestyle wasn't no in no my, in my opinion absolutely not right and to this day all right and listen i i love Teresa. Mm-hmm. all right she may not like me very much right now <laughs> but i gotta be honest with you, to this day right, Teresa did not know what yep. she did wrong. Yep. All right, and that's that, what I hear. Yeah, right? she did not know. Yep. She was following her, her husband. All right, and, you know, just like at the time, Dolores would have followed me. Yep. All right, yep. if I <clears throat> until I sign this, sign that. Right, and that's truly my belief to this day that Teresa still yep. never knew what. You know, what she First did. of all, this fly flying around is going to drive me right, right, fucking right, right, nuts. Right, right. I said it before the show started. Right. I said, "There he is, kill him." All right, but uh, secondly, you know the 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 part about that 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 makes me sad as a as a dad. <laughs> You Damn, get you bro. Get you get it? No. no. Fuck. Bruce Lee over there. Oh, my God. Close. <laughs> um, as a father that I can relate to that's a little sad is that, you know, because that all happened and had to be aired out 
they have children, obviously, yes. and they that's an awkward position yes. to be put in to have all your dirty laundry put out there about your parents, and obviously those kids love both parents. Uh, you know what I mean? And, so and listen, you, Joe, Joe, uh, Teresa's ex husband, who uh, now lives in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. right? He, they, I I was against that entire deportation. The guy's in the country yep. for you know he has a family here, right. right? And one thing about Joe, listen again, dude, Joe Joe's outspoken. He'll be outspoken. One thing he is, and, and I'll say, is, 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 great fucking father. Yep. Great father. Yep. His kids love him. He loves yep. his kids. Right? He, he's. It's all about his kids. I agree. So that's a shame, though. It, oh. it is a shame, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So he was deported to Italy. Right. right. That's where he was born, and what he did is uh, he, he ended up moving to the Bahamas. Yep. So now the girls want to come see him. Right. It's a three-hour flight. Right. And they're older now, so yes, it's not exactly. Yep. All right, which is nice. Yep. Which is very nice. Not that it's such a bad place to be in right. the Bahamas. <laughs> right, right. Right. Exactly. I've seen some some episodes where the girls have been on it and gotten very emotional because people have said things about their dad and stuff yes. like that that's that's as a dad i relate to that and that's yeah. tough you know yeah. like you know and they're very i went through a very public divorce and you know you know my ex and i are very cool we're very cool and and um you know we're raising two kids the best we can and Kind of like you said, you know, all I really care about is when I'm off this planet, people said he was a good dad. I don't Absolutely. really give a shit about anything else. Yeah. And you Roger, know? you want to know something? You and your wife got a divorce. Myself and Dolores got a divorce. Right. The kids did not. Not right. Exactly. The kids didn't want the divorce. 100%. Right. 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 So in Dolores, I was lucky in my part. It's been out there. I cheated. All right. Mm -hmm. I cheated. Uh, and and she would have even taken me back. Mm -hmm. Would you have done anything different now in retrospect? Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I think my relationship is now, it's so good yeah. because of what happened. Yeah, I don't. I don't you learn from you learn yes. from your mistakes. A hundred percent for you. Hundred percent. And but she was a strong, strong woman, very close to, to Jenny, the same way. Mm. And we don't know something. We're not going to have two birthdays. We're not going to have two two holidays. Yep. You know, that's it. Everybody can be in one room right. together. And because it's, it's yep. not, the, not the kids' fault. I like that. Right yeah. now, yeah. right now we do have two, but right. maybe one day we can have one. You I know. Hope, so yeah, it, 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 it would, that would be nice. You know. It, it, yeah, though. She'll take a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's all about the kids, man. It is. It's, it know, is. And, and, I, and I have a great relationship to this day. My, my daughter's twenty seven. My son's twenty four. Do I talk to each of them every day? And you know, every day when I have a phone, love you, dad. Love you, dad. Yeah, yeah, so, awesome. yeah, it's good. Yeah, like I said, my dad was just here. Uh, my dad's my best friend. I have a great relationship with my dad and. And all I want is to always and forever have a good relationship with my kids. It's not easy because they're gonna piss you off. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? And and you're gonna have your little moments. But, like you, um, you you, you want to be there. You can't, can't, in the beginning. You can't be their friend too much. I agree. Yeah. Once they're older and they're they're right. on their own, then right. you can be back to friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. With them, you know? yeah. They need a they need a parental figure yeah, for sure. You guys, you guys are in the same parental yeah. uh, parenting mode as I, I assume me. Sure. All right? Listen to me. I'm your friend. All right? yep. But I'm also your father. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I brought you in this world. I can take you out. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know? Funny you said that because my dad, you know, here's the, here's the eyes that raised me now watching me be a dad, mm -hmm. right? And where he was there for the whole weekend. And um, I, my kids definitely act a little different when other people are around. They try to push. They try to push limits. Do they really? You know what I mean? Oh, hundred percent. They try to push it a little bit because they're like, "Oh, Dad's gonna let more shit fly because people are around," you know. So, um, and I, and it's true. I do. I don't. You know, but we're playing a board game. And my son is not a good loser, which is which I like in a lot of aspects because I want him to always win. I don't like that. I'm never going to celebrate mediocrity. Never going to be that dad. But um, he doesn't lose well, and he can be a little bit of a crybaby. Now he's seven, so you know he should be a crybaby to some degree. But we're playing. And it's late. It's you know it's a weekend. They don't the school's done. They don't have to get up early, so it's like maybe ten o'clock at night. My dad's playing. We're playing. Uh, sorry when they change the rules for the game and all this. But anyway, a move was made where he got bumped and. He he got mad about it and he cried a little bit and i'm like but this is a game we're supposed to be having fun you can't get mad about it and i was like you gotta get over it get over it, you know and then something happened again where he got bumped again or whatever and he started crying again i said listen but this this is it you know like either we're gonna play the game or we're not gonna play the game you can't get upset we're supposed to be having a fun as family you can't win every time but this is just a board game when you're out there on the brazilian jiu-jitsu match take that attitude out there but here it's just a board game not the end of the world right happened the third time right i said listen we're either gonna fucking play this game and we're gonna get a lot and I dropped the F bomb and I probably shouldn't. Oh, yeah. I see my dad go like this. 
Yeah, you said. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and they listened, and they stopped, and they got along. That's you know it. what I mean? Absolutely. Nobody looks when I say yeah. that word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you, you say it every I other say, word. Yeah. That's the problem. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I've never yeah. around my kids. We swear, my yeah. kids. Ah, never, yeah. The yeah. kids never had a curfew. I, you, you just treat them. You treat them. You know, you want to be an adult. I'm gonna treat you like an adult. Exactly. But then we do act that. like an adult. Exactly yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I've always given my kids whatever I was able to give them. I always gave them. You act. Seriously, you act spoiled in one one moment. I will take it away as quickly. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And I, I can be honest, I'm I'm ecstatic with the way my children turned out. Amazing, so, you know yeah. exactly. Amazing. That's what it's all about, really, right? That's yeah. like when they say like, legacy. We ever want to talk legacy yeah. when you you know retire yeah. recently? Like it's like your legacy is in your kids, bro. Mm. They pass that shit on. That's yeah. how you live forever. Hundred percent, hundred percent. What better what better title than a, than a father, man? Come on, bro. Amen. Yeah, seriously, yeah. think about it. And when you're out of here, when you're done, it, it's who, who's left? Your yeah. kids. Kids are gonna they're gonna judge you in you know, postpartum by you know. That's right. right. And then what you what, uh, I seen some was a jitsu thing or a wrestling thing. It's like, but it's a life thing. When you teach your son, you're teaching your son's son. Yeah, you yeah, know, so that yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. for sure. It, it's good. You know, that's why I like sitting down with the guys, with the bros, because you know everybody's got the same philosophy. Yeah. Every other, some other place I always got to watch my mouth. <laughs> I know, <laughs> sure. obviously, the 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 deadbeat dad situation right now is huge. Like, but I, when you have a dad that wants I feel to like be involved, you think it's huge. You think a deadbeat dad uh, is huge? I mean, if, I think yeah, in the court system, yeah. Yeah, I, think I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I feel like uh, like people got divorced. Like my like my parents parents were never divorced, right? Like that that, era, that generation wasn't divorced. Mm -hmm. like, they'll, they'll live miserable together. Yeah, but then my, my parents got divorced. Like that generation all got mm -hmm. divorced. Now I'm wondering if like this neck, the generation that li lived from that was like, yo, I'm not gonna get divorced. I don't wanna get divorced. I'm not just talking about just divorce though. I said deadbeat dads. You can be, yeah. I'm divorced, I'm not a deadbeat dad. Yeah, yeah, true, I'm true, talking true, about dads yeah, that yeah, yeah. choose not to be in their kids' but lives. But I think that's even changing too. Like, do you yo, think so? I, I think, think it's getting like, worse. Think about, think about, like, you think it's uh, getting like, better? I think it's, I don't know. I think it's getting better just based on like music. Like back, when I grow, like, you know, like I'm, I'm not, fuck my dad, mm, this and yeah. that. I think people yeah. listen. I'm like, oh, I need to be a good dad. Yeah. No, I mean, I haven't researched yeah. this. I could be totally wrong. It's just kind of the feeling I got. But uh, you know, I feel like the standard in court. And you're an attorney. I know you weren't a divorce attorney, but the standard no, in court. Is, you were a oh, you were twenty one years. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, wow. yes. oh, yeah. and, and to the point where you bring it up. <sighs> I feel like the, uh, just let me finish my point. I feel like the standard with with judges is, oh, there's the dad, there's the mom. You're every other weekend, dad. When you get divorced, fuck that shit. Yeah, the man. dad's just as goddamn important. I fought my ass I mean, off. You know what I mean? And uh, we're just as important in our child's life. They need a fatherly, 100%. masculine role in their lives. You know what I mean? Guys, without a doubt, it, I, I think that drives you. Doesn't only drive you, but it also gives you a, 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 an example of mm -hmm. what your life is supposed to be like. Correct. If you're going to be a deadbeat mm -hmm. dad, you want yeah. that's you're going to carry that into life. But right? I think it's almost yeah. taken for granted. Mm -hmm. I know I, I have friends that are going through it right now, getting divorced. They're like, yeah, I'm, I'll get my kid every other weekend. I'm like, why? Yeah. Why? Why? Why, why are you no. settling for that? You know what I mean? No. And it, it, it's, it's both parties. My divorce with Dolores was absolutely horrendous. Mm -hmm. I mean, we fought tooth and nail, tooth and nail. Went in front of the judge. Judge made a decision. We had a property settlement agreement. Walked out of court. Dolores looked at me and says, listen, what do you want to do? Yeah. And quite honestly, we have not listened to the terms of our property settlement agreement one time yeah. since we walked out of court 22 yeah, years Yeah, that's ago. the way it should be. You know? That was it. If I had it, she had it. You know what I'm saying? And then later on in life, it turned around the other way. Yeah. You know, not with the show. God bless you. She does well. Um, and, and So that's it. You, you Yep. You're co-parent, man. Yep. Come on, it's not about you. It's about I, I right. wish, yeah. Right. And then someday I, I I hope to get there. But, you know, they're, they're, they put, I think judges put that criteria in place so that that is, that's the standard. If you can't agree on anything else, that's what you go by. But you should agree by common sense. You should agree by the things that are better for the children. Anything that makes sense for the kids should be what's agreed upon. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that's what good parents do. And we certainly have done that in, in the past. But, uh, yeah, you you know. If you, if you're if you're constantly referencing a judge's orders, ah, that's horrible. Then it's a fucking shitty yeah. ass relationship. You it know is, what I mean? Man. And it reflects on the children. Yeah. I mean, come on, when a kid, you you know the kids absorb everything. Yeah, everything around them. Exactly. You know? ah, it's good though. You yep. know. Yep. And then every once in a while, you got to keep them in line. Though. You got to keep the kids in line. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It's it's different now than when we grew up. Yep. It's oh, so yeah. different. All right. Yeah. I'm There's seeing it now. There's no temptations anymore, you know. Yeah. You know, so it's 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 rough. It's rough. You know? <laughs> it's changed. But you think about it. Back in the day, it was it, it was a man's world. 
Yeah. Right? Now it's it's changed. In my latter well, now men, the men are the men are the women. <laughs> I don't know. You know it's a shame. <laughs> yeah. I started out in the, probably the first fifteen years of doing matrimonial. The guys were cheating. Honestly, yeah. the, ninety percent of the time it's the guy who cheated. Cheating up when you were doing yeah. divorces. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, guys yeah. who were doing divorces. They got divorced. All right. So my last eight years, it was at least fifty fifty. Wow, the women are cheating. Women, yeah, you know they, they they were unhappy in the marriage. They wanted to go out. They missed something in life beforehand. You know, which wasn't before. That wasn't well, like well, that. Wait, I wonder what that. We think that it's just women get more independent. I think so. I think yeah. it is. You know, women. Yeah. You know, and they, they, they rightfully so. I do believe that. You know, women. There, there is definitely equality, men and women, and I believe it should be. You know, um, but it's it's yeah, women have definitely they, they've someone sparked something behind them. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> I think they need to be in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to catch some slack for that one, pal. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm saying with the kids, you know, it's good for them. You're you're more old fashioned. No, I think no. The woman should be able to do whatever she wants to do. Yeah. But I think the I feminist. Think, I think a woman would really like to be home. Like, what, why wouldn't a woman want to be home with her with, with her kids? I think for all the great things the feminist movement did, which I think we would all agree, the fem the original feminist movement was a great thing. But the the new wave feminists are just basically man haters. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. I, I I don't get behind that movement at all. You know or what I mean? Or they're they're men. Haters, huh? Mm. Or they're men. They're men. Or they're men. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, men. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These days, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you don't know what to do now, and this is. This, I'm being serious about this. You know, to a degree, I'm old fashioned. I believe in opening doors. I believe in that sort of thing. But you almost, you, you almost feel like, am I going to offend her? Like if I open the door for her, because you know, like, like you know, they want to be equal on all pars now. You know, yes, I think really, truly. Most women don't want to be. I think most oh, women. Hey, babe, go be. change the tire. I'll, yeah, be, yeah, I'll yeah, hang yeah, out in the yeah, car. I'm gonna yeah, hang yeah. out in the heat. <laughs> but you do see it when you're out. Yeah. When you're out, and you see it out, and you see it, the bill comes. They split the bill. Yeah. yeah. They split yeah. The, I would never. I, no. I, one thing about my son. My son's 24. Absolutely would never. Would yeah, never. And yeah. again, I think that comes from the parenting at home. And yeah. you know, yeah. you know, believe me. If, 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 if my son ever let a woman. And split a bill with him. <laughs> Dolores would fuck him up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Dolores is, and I tell you, Dolores is the toughest. She grew up in the streets of Patterson. She was a corrections officer. She is the toughest woman who knows how to fight. Yeah. So when she squares yeah, off with you, and she's giving you, you know, an uppercut that you didn't expect. <laughs> I've been on the other end of that many times. All right. Oh uh, yeah, shit. Yeah, so. okay. How did you get? Listen. You know, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, that right? Like that's, that's and obviously. You admit it, right? No skeletons in your closet. You cheated. How did you get to the place you're at now? How did Dolores, I mean, for lack of putting it any other way, how did Dolores forgive you? How were, how were you, you're like best friends now. I yes, feel sir. like anybody talks bad about her, you got her back. Oh, anybody absolutely. talks bad about you, she's got your back. How do you get to that place? A hundred, a hundred did it take years? Right? Just like, show me. Show <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, please. Yeah, 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 please. <laughs> it will get there. I'm telling you, it yeah. will. It was, I, I, I'm the one that did the wrong, so obviously I would love for it to be like that. Dolores is a great woman. Yeah. Dolores said, and, and she'll tell you, she's, she's the one who said, I'm not going to allow my family to be affected yep. because of this. Great. Right? You fucked up, or you really fucked up. You're going to regret it, which I did. Mm -hmm. All right, and guys, it, it, she didn't. She was just, strong woman and she put aside her own feelings mm -hmm. right because she hated me you know, rightfully so she hated me yep. um the guys you, if i told you some stories oh my god because <laughs> Dolores, Dolores, like i said is a badass dude i'm jumping out of second floor windows on with a suit on landing in somebody's bushes all to cut up because that's how afraid of the lord is and the is banging at the front door that's how afraid of that's Dolores a true story i swear to god yes that's amazing oh absolutely that's fucking that's, amazing that's only one of many <laughs> oh yeah for sure <laughs> well you got you you guys kind of are the odd couple. Get that fly, Frankie. Yeah, yeah, you're, the, yeah. you're the ninja in here. Get him. Um, <laughs> yeah. You got in the odd couple in that you're not married, right? So how do, how does that how how does Bravo approach appro excuse me approach approach the two of you? To come on to be how how does that happen? Did you come on at the same time? We came on at the same time. You did. Dolores came on, and, and as part of her family at the time, I was her family. Yeah, and uh, we were business partners as well. All right, Dolores. Wow. Had, you know, she was my business partner in a construction company. So not only that, we would build houses together, renovate them, and you know, we'd go see them together. And you know, she tells me about this design and so forth. And then just from there, you know, it yeah. easily. 
We caught a lot of shit, though, because, okay, why are you guys like that? You're divorced. You don't need to be like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what works for me. Right. You don't know what right. life is all about. And that was six years ago. And within six years, that has changed dramatically to how many people say, you want to know something? Yeah. I want to be like that. We've had so many friends say to one another, a wife. Especially. I'm one of them. All right? <laughs> say, say, saying with it, don't ever think we're going to be like Frank and Dolores. Yeah. Divorce, uh-huh. All right? They're divorced, and they're like Frank and Dolores. Yeah. That's, That's the, the way best it should way to be. be. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, hey, listen, it didn't work out. It's, yeah. it's 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 exactly it, right. it's it's probably both your faults or neither your fault. So you know whatever it is, it yeah. is what it is. But yes. why be miserable? Well, oh, here's man. here's where I feel like a monkey wrench could come in, right? Yeah. Maybe not so much for you. I, it might be the dynamic between male and female. But Dolores has a new guy, Polly, right? Yes. Now, is Polly comfortable with the relationship that you have with Dolores? Because I feel like you know it's na- it's a natural instinct of men to be protective, right? Correct. And maybe he's not comfortable with that. No guy wants to think that the girl, the guy that you, you know, my girl used to be married to and sleep with and everything else, they're best buds. No guy, it, basically, not a lot of guys are comfortable with that. And, and, right, right, and rightfully so. Is Polly comfortable with that? Polly wasn't comfortable at first. Okay. Polly wasn't comfortable at first, and um, uh, and I had a, it was you know. It was prevalent on the show, um, and I, I got upset about it because yeah. Dolores, she really, when I tell you, she's one of my three best friends, yeah. and so we weren't the same way. And it wasn't being people were so, thinking that I was upset because I was losing a relationship with Dolores, almost like a sexual relationship, a, a romantic relationship. It wasn't. It was a friendship, and we had a dynamic in our family. And all I wanted, and my girlfriend Brittany knew us for a long time, so she knew the dynamic. Mm. So the, Brittany was around Dolores and I. Not, never a bother, never a worry. Yeah. She knew the dynamic, and I wanted Paulie to hang out with us all together so he could see that dynamic. Yeah. Mm. He didn't come in early enough. He, he, so he wouldn't, yeah. he wouldn't come, and and, and I, you know, and rightfully so. He, you don't want the ex-husband, yeah. you know, being a best friend. I understand, but you know, what happened is, isn't he, technically Paulie still married or no? Yes, Paulie yeah. still, yeah, Paulie still. Yeah, married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so he should understand. I would yeah. imagine, I, right? He yeah. did, he did. You know, on something more and more, we started to get, get things together. And it just happened. Mm. It just happened. Right? It was nice. We we had a, a dinner where we were celebrating my two children, basically getting they're on their own. They're on their own now. Mm. And you know, Brittany was there with me. Paulie was there with Dolores. Um, that's when Brittany thought that uh, Irish was another language. Uh. <laughs> other than English, yeah, exactly. So, um, but no, it's but now we're good. We're we're, we're yep. good. All right, we're, we're me and Paulie on this. We're not going out and buddy buddy like me and David, our ex boyfriend. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's right. get into that, right. Frank. Right. That's yeah, a whole other right. dynamic. Right. I know. Listen, I got I got briefed a little bit by, by my girl on some of this stuff, but there's there's another interesting dynamic there. Yes. Before Polly, Dolores dated David, right? Correct. You lived with David until recently, at, correct? At one hundred percent, I still live with David. But, still, and and the history goes even back further, right? Weren't you guys friends prior to no. Dolores? Oh, you weren't. No, okay, no. so I got that yeah, part wrong. Yeah. But you lived with David after Dolores and David split. Correct. How I, does that happen? I ended up Dolores and Paul. Zach, and listen to this because I might move in with you. Right. <laughs> 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 they, why are you Jenny's, Jenny's ex boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> David and Dolores started dating, all right? And, and I gotta be honest, when David first came around, I said to Dolores, I said, oh, this guy's a jerk off, all right? So, <laughs> but you, that's how David gives a persona, yeah. initially, all right? Um, so next thing you know, you're hanging out with the two of them, I built a house for them, all right? I built a house for them, for the two of them, that's what we do, we build. So we built a house for them, um, and things didn't work out with the, uh, David and Dolores. And David is an incredible guy, when I tell you, it's a fucking awesome doctor, but that's his, that's his girlfriend, okay? He's hours and hours at the hospital. Uh, right? He's yeah. hours married yeah. to his job. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But he's a great doctor. Right? Yeah. He, he does. He what he does. He, he's a, 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 a he's a specialist in prenatal. He's he has saved so many babies. Mm. Right? It's, it's, it's things that people would have never thought. Oh my God, I'm going to lose this baby. He's he, right. that. That's what he does. So next thing you know, but while Dolores and David are together, my kids leaned on David for David really helped my kids with a lot of things, especially my daughter going to veterinary school, medical, David mm-hmm. helped. So when Dolores and David didn't work out, basically said to me and my children, didn't work out with us, do me a favor. I have no problem with you continuing being friends with him and my children, I want you to continue. Right? This is your wife? Yeah, yes. Ex- or her ex-wife. ex-wife. Yes. Wow, right? she's right? fucking right? amazing, right? amazing lady. Right? Sounds like an amazing lady. She, this, this, she No, no, she, Dolores sounds amazing. David sounds even more amazing. Well, this dude's a fucking saint. Uh, he saves babies by day he does. and repairs relationships at night and, and lets uh, lets his, his- Saves, saves his husband by night. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 that's insane. So what happened, 
it ended up when I hurt my, I tore my quads. Yep. I had, to, I couldn't walk stairs. So in his house, he had a, a full bathroom on the first floor. I had a hospital bed in because I couldn't get around. So I ended up watching David. David, two o'clock in the morning, make sure I have my meds. Get out of here. Everything. So we're there. They end up breaking up. And at this point, and I'm looking for a house. All right. So I said, well, maybe I'll go, I'll go rent something. David said, why don't you move in with me? And I'm like, okay. So now I'm moving in with David. All right. So now. David's happy because he comes home from the hospital. Someone's there. Now we got my two dogs with me too. Right? Dogs, <laughs> Get out of here. The dogs run up to him. Get out of here. David's not used to this. And I gotta be honest, David likes it. David's, David takes in his girlfriend's ex-husband. Okay, let me, see I got this. <laughs> let me see if I got this right. Has to administer medicine to you at 2 a.m. every night. Gives you the downstairs to live on of his, of his own home. Yep. You move in with two dogs. <laughs> exactly. Bro. And, and he's saving babies all day long. <laughs> and, and I, David, like, I want to meet this man. This dude, man's David, a saint. <laughs> this man's a saint. And, and Brittany, st Brittany stays over maybe four days a week. All right? That's so, insane. So now we say, listen, hey, hey, Dave, we're going to have to get our own house. Said, no, no, there's no reason for that. I said, Dave, the Brittany says, well, you mean it's in privacy. I'll change the first floor of my house. We'll put another master suite in, you know, to make work Get it out. out of here. All right, Bye, David like company, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and he's, he's, he's when I say with Dolores, one of my three best friends. David's one of the other. Yeah, all right. Uh, uh. So I want to be best friends with David. Yo, David's awesome, bro. <laughs> David's awesome. So it, it ended up myself and Brittany bought a house. All right. So we talked about it on the reunion, but you know the reunion airs, you know, three four weeks later. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell David yet I bought a house. So now the reunion's coming, I gotta tell David. Uh, so the one day- It's like a breakup. Uh, exactly. <laughs> He's like, no, he goes, that's all right. Well, I'm happy for you, but you're not gonna move out. Said, what do you mean I'm not gonna move out? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the building inspector telling me you're breaking laws and shit. I'm not gonna let <laughs> on the house I'm moving into. So, but no, he, he's, he's, a, he's, a good, he's a good So friend. the dude renovates his house for you and then you tell him. No, he doesn't. Does he need another room? Does he, he want another room? Oh, he was gonna. He was gonna. All right. All right. All right. But, you know, but Brittany said. All of a sudden, down. Frankie wants a divorce. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> David's single still. <laughs> so, and he's funny. changing teams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro. So it's it's that's crazy, bro. That's the craziest. Uh, I don't know. You could you literally could build a reality show around that. Yo, around you a, could basically around a Catania, like, yeah, the Catania family. That's insane. You have it's 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 amazing, bro. It is. You know that's why my, my life. I, I don't regret anything. Yeah. But there's no. If I went tomorrow, there is no woulda coulda shoulda. Is there right, something uh, there? And you're sorry, Frank. You're doing, yeah. uh, is there something there? that you could build on with the husbands as a reality show? Is just it, the husbands? Is, or is it, is or is it gone now because you said Rod the dynamic? Rod's trying to get a spot. He's trying to get a spot in there. <laughs> no, no. No. In fact, remember last year when I called you, we were having a party, yes, right? I said, yeah, you know, you're yeah. girl come. I had the kids, man. Yeah, I would have exactly, come. Right? I you know? never get babysitters when I have the yeah. kids. But listen, I, 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 and it's right down the street. Yeah, Joe's right down, exactly, right down the street from me. Right. So yeah. yeah. So it would have been a, cro a crossover between Jersey Shore. It would have been. Both, both of them, basically, seriously. We're like, we're like the two ex-husbands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stars. I know Joe and Melissa. I've, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been to events with them. Yeah. Joe used to go to my gym. I'd catch a yes. workout with Joe yeah. once in a while. Yeah. I got nothing bad to say about anybody on the show, but I might stir a little drama just because we got Frank in the studio, you know? <laughs> might stir a little drama. There, there's a little drama there, a little personal drama yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that Frank, Frankie and I are a little privy to. There's a there's a dude that keeps getting mentioned on the show that's yeah. actually a good friend of ours, Bulldog. Who's that? Who's that? Bulldog. Who's Bulldog? You don't know, you don't know the Bulldog story? No, no. I'm not going to... Listen, I would never say anything because it's his place to say it but but you just brought it up i'm not gonna say nothing but no, i just no, brought no, it up no 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 no. frankie wants a boring show as usual but there's there's i would let him tell the story is what i mean if he ever wanted to elaborate we'll, we'll on it. tell it we'll but, tell it now anyway no 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 what not do you mean it. what the fuck you mean it's been <laughs> talked about you fucking dumb fuck on the show it's been talked oh, yeah. about one of the cast members has no fucking clue know. about it so it must know. not have been talked it about was it talked about on the reunion his name was brought up on the reunion who are we talking about? Bulldog. His name is brought up on the room. And Melissa used to date Bulldog before she dated Joe Gorga. That's his name, Bulldog? Bull well, it's not his real name. But <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Well, but Melissa has been up. brought up numerous times. Melissa grew up in Times River. She yeah, did, yep. Yeah, she yeah, did, yeah, yeah. yep. And her family's still down here. Yeah, her family's yep. still, I love her family. Oh, my right. God. Yeah. Oh, so now I'm curious. Here. Yeah. No, I, I like like I said, <laughs> if... if 
It's been brought up numerous times on the show. I've heard his name oh on the God. show. Yeah, I never yeah, heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I never heard it. You yeah, know? so uh, <laughs> it's it's been around the tabloids and stuff like that. Oh, but damn. he's he's always said if he was ever gonna tell his side of the story, he'd come on the show. It's not really what we do on here. We're not exactly <laughs> TMZ, but uh, he. I think he just but, wants to be left out of it now. Right, you know okay. what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, good good friend of ours. We've known him for twenty five years, ah, and that's good, he's his name's been mentioned numerous times he's on really? your show. Oh so yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even know. Yep. That goes to show you how involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. How involved. I, I it was just on the reunion show. I heard his name. No, I think they bleeped it out, but he was on there. I try to stay. I, I truly yeah. do. Unless unless it's got something to do with me or my family. Really, I do not pick sides. I just like everybody exactly. to be peaceful. That's why I don't want to. You know what I mean? Like exactly. get into it because I, I I we're we're not TMZ here, and I know Joe. I know Melissa. I yes. don't want the fucking. Yeah, you know, can, I don't want 100%. all that. But I'm just saying his. I respect it. He keeps getting brought up for some reason. I you know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. Damn. But you're like a, res a renaissance man, right? You were a personal trainer, a lawyer. Yes, a prosecutor. A, a prosecutor. A builder. A builder. A gym owner. Gym owner, and now dispensary owner? Yeah, exactly. Like, well, uh, fuck, how does, that ha how does that happen? I've always told, listen. It, it, you were a high energy dude. Always. Oh, yeah. always I get and yeah. I get bored. I get bored yeah. quick. I get bored right. quick. And the problem is when I get bored, I get, I get like a little depressed. And mm. i got to keep mm. myself going. All right. Back in the day, if I didn't keep myself going, I'd get myself in trouble. Mm. Right? And, and, and that's that's what it was. And and. I've always tried to um, spread my issues because, God forbid, this, let's say, real estate goes bad, right? We've done a shitload of real estate. Yep. This real estate goes bad, all right? What else do I got? Okay, I got the gyms, all right? Spread yourself then the gyms, out. Diversify. Then, then, then the Harleys, yep. all right? So we, we, and I still do that, except now, I believe my last, my final, my final, all right? Hurrah. Final I, form. I, my final court <laughs> is going to be cannabis. Yeah. 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 I, I love it. I, 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 get, I get so excited. But you, you said you only do gummies right of uh, myself yeah I, you yeah. Know, no i don't mean the dispenser i mean no, your no, personal yeah, yeah. Yeah. what i do is i myself i'm a i'm a pussy man i'm not gonna yeah. lie right, right, come <laughs> on. I, I puff a little bit next thing you know, I'm <laughs> and the thing is we have so many i was telling you guys we have so many great growers who are trying to get jobs from us mm -hmm. uh, as a grower and gives us their quality stuff and to me i don't know the difference but i give it to my friends who smoke and they're like wow right. wow i got stuff two hits you're out cold i I got another two, two hits, and you want those? You're at the edge of that. That's hallucinating you know, <laughs> from two hits. So yeah, I don't know anything about it either. I don't you smoke. Know. I probably would because I think it would be good for me because I'm a stressor naturally. Yeah, I, I think it'd really be the gummy is probably yes. great for me to go to sleep. Yes. But I heard Frankie, who 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 knows who knows it, uh, we'll just leave it like that. Say that I don't buy into that shit. What do you mean by that? Sativa. I heard you mention sativa. I heard you mention a couple different. What are they called? Strains. Strains. Only two strains, really. Oh, but I heard you sativa, say I don't indica and then a hybrid. I, I don't buy into that shit. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? Why don't you buy into that shit? What does that mean? I just heard people like a sativa is supposedly uh, like a, a, a up an upper makes you focus, intense focus. It's not and a, a indica is more of a downer, real body high. Uh, sativa is a head high. I don't notice either one of them. Oh really? Yeah. You could smoke both and not and notice the difference. I don't really. The, the, the truth, the, my in my opinion, the truth is out there right now there is. There is some special strains, but you have to find a true sativa. But I, what I heard, what I, well, yeah, that's the thing. What I heard, I heard when they say it's sativa, it's grown. If it's grown next to indica, it's 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 all hybrid. Okay, you know what I mean. That's and what I've, I've heard. Hybrid. Okay. Yeah. Right? Most yeah. most things are hybrids because yeah. you don't usually you don't find people who want a true sativa or a true indica. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well, you you want the, 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 and on top of that, we mix the THC now with the CBD. Yeah. Right. Mm. And the gummies. You know, you normally they're fifty percent CBD to fifty percent THC. See, it all depends, and the biggest thing about it is, and Frank, I don't know if you, especially with you, you, you with the, the MMA, the pain relief by the THC as opposed to the opioid. Oh, it's night and day, dude. You don't, you yeah. don't, you don't get addicted. Right. You don't have a hangover in the morning. Yeah, it's a it, it is, constipated. No, you know, exactly. I mean, I would believe, I would have to believe, and you could speak to this because you're yeah. in the industry, and I'm sure Frankie is knowledgeable. I would have to believe that Big Pharma is going to be fighting that every step of the way. No, Big Pharma is trying to do. Aren't it. they trying to make a synthetic they, weed? They're, they're, they're trying to make a synthetic. They're trying to make a synthetic weed. Really? Really? And, and what's crazy is the laws. It's legal, but you can't. Mean you can't grow it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, how yeah, the fuck are you yeah. telling me I can't grow it? Right. Tomatoes are legal. I can grow tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's, yeah. it's, 
listen, it is regulated. It's strictly regulated. More than more than liquor. More yeah. than liquor. It, uh, it yeah. is. You it's, know. And, yeah. it's, and, and where where, uh, where are some of the dispensaries you're associated? We got with a on? dispensary. We have a dispensary which is opening up our quickest one, soonest one will be on Route 22 in Union. Route mm. 22 in Western Union. We got one on Hamilton Street down in uh, Somerset, Franklin, New Jersey, which okay. is right right yeah. by Rutgers. Yeah, yeah. Um, next year we have one coming up. In Hailden, New Jersey, Hailden. we have one uh, coming up on Route 46 in Saddlebrook. Mm, mm-hmm. Okay, and Saddle, hopefully, yeah. uh, as more and more towns come on, uh, we hope to have more. Yeah, you mm-hmm. want to get the, the Jersey Shore connection? Call your guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, call your yeah, boy. Yeah, call yeah. your no, boy. No, exactly. <laughs> well, unfortunately, to Ocean County, there's one town, South Tom River. That's it. Nobody. Yeah, everybody else said no. Well, no, no, Asbury. No, that's that's oh, Monmouth. That's Monmouth. Right, you're right. Yes. Oh, All right. I, I take it back. Ocean, oh, so you, you can have, have a dispensary in South. Th- is no, there one there? There is Beach. South Tom's River. You know who? Didn't even know you that. Know who? Oh. Uh, Guzzy and no Tommy way. Marino. Yep. No way. Yep. The one in Beachwood. No the way. One in Beachwood. Not, uh, yeah. No, wow. South Tom's River. Uh, yeah, I guess it's considered it's South, South Tom's River. River. Yeah, it's considered South Tom's River. Beach, but it's Beachwood doesn't allow Tom's it. River to Beachwood. It pretty, is it, it's South is Tom's it by River. the river there? It's right on 9. Yeah. Right over yeah. 9. Yeah. Right, at, right by the Peekaboo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They're yeah, ready yeah. to open. They're ready to open right yeah. now. Yeah. They're waiting for their inspection for the CRC. No and, and, Same thing as me. And how is that? That's just based on, on government stuff. And, and that's it. We, we're Blue waiting, tape or red tape or whatever. Well, the thing is, they're so far behind because everybody coming in now. Um... Uh, the, but don't they want to open? I mean, they're they making do. so much money. I got to be honest with you. The tax revenue that the state's in. Oh, it's, it's going to be insane, this, right? This is what I, the people don't understand. Let's talk <clears> about <throat> Seaside. Seaside's so busy during the summer, yeah. okay? Are Seaside. they going to have one in Seaside or no? no? They not. said no, There's right? no other places except in anywhere. South, Tom. it, South Tom's River and Lakehurst. Well, they tried. Lakehurst. Ooh. Lakehurst. They tried to get one in Brick. There was an Ocean First Lakehurst, Bank Lakehurst, I heard about there, Lakehurst. Yeah. And, the, and the town voted it out. The resident said. Tom's River voted it out before it even became legal. So dumb. But. But the thing about this is, <laughs> delivery is legal statewide. Yeah, yeah right. So you want to know something? Let's say it comes from Asbury. Mm-hmm. It's delivered to Seaside. Mm-hmm. You're going to have your cannabis in Seaside, yeah. but the 2% tax, we're not getting anything. Mm-hmm. Asbury's got it. Right. You know, so. so these yeah, people it's, are biting, it's, 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 biting their nose to spite their face. Yeah. 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 Exactly right. Their face. Yes. Yeah. It's 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 and it, we listen. We talk to many different mayors and mayors and councils, and you try to re- relay and show it to them uh, what the deal is. It's the numbers that they get from revenue from the taxes. Is that who makes the call? Whether the town can have it is the mayor? It, 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 no, no. The mayor and council usually. Well, and I think it, it has, has to pass a council pass, vote, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, yeah. All right. Because listen, it's legal now in New Jersey, but it's still left up to the towns to decide right. if you want. Right. There's six right. different licenses, six different cannabis licenses. You're allowed to. The town can say, I want all of them I'll give or I'm just going to allow this one license all right then you determine how many of those licenses you want to have mm. as far as what you can sell uh, what you can sell well, yep. it goes you got cultivation you got yep. manufacturing a distribution wholesale oh you could you could literally yeah. license putting like a warehouse in to grow yes mm. oh wow exactly all right that probably that, doesn't happen often no, I would imagine no, it does it does right. because, so, the, you know, like, so companies want to be a one-stop shop do everything they can't they can't have common ownership I, you, they you, can't. so you can't be the grower you can't be this you can't exactly be, uh, okay. you can't have oh. common ownership it's different ownership mm. but I'm, let me tell you but they don't make a monop- monopoly yeah, exactly, exactly right. Right. but the only thing in which you even know it's here I right? want to make a monopoly yeah, out of it although big pharma is the biggest monopoly yeah, out of it it makes a lot of sense right but go ahead the only thing that you will ever see that you know that it's cannabis is a retail place. Mm-hmm. Everything else, there's no signage, there's no nothing. There's a hundred and fifty thousand square foot grow in Lakewood. You'll drive. Get right, out of here. You'll drive right by. You'll never even know it's there. Get out of here. Death doesn't smell. No markings. Nothing on it. All right. Wow. You, you know, sure. Really? Wow. Yes. And now I'm going to look for it because I work yeah, in Lakewood. I'll, I'll tell you right where it is. I'll yeah. tell you right where it is. It's 150,000 square feet. They have almost 100,000 square feet of bud. Indoor. Bud indoor. Grow growing. Indoor. All right? and what everything's happened, indoor in Jersey, everything's right? Everything yeah, 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 has yeah, to be. Yeah, has yeah. to be. Right. Um, and most of all towns worry about smell. Yeah. So I ended up bringing a mayor and council down to this outside. I told them to meet me in the parking lot. They're in the parking lot. I come out. I say, smell anything? No. I said, you're standing next to 150,000 square foot growing. Wow. Yeah. Now, how do they control it? Because obviously there is an order. Fil- filtration? System? Yeah, yeah, it's carbon micro filters. All yeah. right, what they use uh, reverse ionization. Mm. It's you, you, because you don't. The worst thing for cannabis when you're growing mm-hmm. it is mold and mildew. Yeah, mm. yeah, all right. right. So you want to see all the moisture. And out if, here. It's, if it's getting in the mold and mildew, yeah. that means it smells getting out. Mm. All right, and vice all versa. Right. So. so my my old roommate, this is going back God twenty years, when I lived out in Whiting, 
he was he was a little bit of a stoner. Yeah. And he was like, I can I can grow my own, right? So he created this little he made a grow room in the basement. Right. And he made he, he I remember I remember him ordering a hydroponic system, yes. water system. Dude had he got so into this shit. He had rabbits living in there because I guess rabbits exude carbon uh, oh, dioxide, really, right? And it helps that. plants. Like, what? So I never heard he had that. rabbits in there. He had like three rabbits in the thing. The problem was it was right below my fucking bedroom. Oh, right? So smell I it? smelled every bit of it. I don't smoke, and I, I would love to smoke, but I, I get federally tested for my job, yeah. whatever. So anyway. I'd have girls over, and they'd be like, "Bro, it's your fucking room reeks," and I'd be like, "It's, it's a whole system right below my bedroom." If you they know? make so. it federal legal, would you be able to? If if the Probably if the not. federal Probably government adopts like the state regulations, yeah. then yeah, you think so? To, yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, the rule is now by the state, right? Kennedy that anybody anybody can smoke as you just can't be uh, impaired at your job if they exactly. suspect you of being impaired right cops can yeah cops can Cop, anybody cops, i can't cops can how smoke. fucked up is that yeah. that's crazy yeah. it makes no sense whatsoever yep 100 percent. They, they got i talked to my about union about it. i talked they're all cool they'll talk yeah. with you and be like listen don't make sense but yeah. you know technically you can't do it you know and i'll be like so i don't do it but and not that i'm I could never do what this guy does It's because he's been at it so many years, but I would just like to take some gummies before I go to bed to sleep good. That's all I really want to do, you know what I mean? And maybe, you know, like at a party once in a while, maybe I'll I'll, I'll take yeah, a hit off one. That's all I really want to do. Yeah. Talk to himself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would I would literally probably take a couple hits out the, on the back porch at night and just Develop. feel right, yeah. go to bed. 100%. Can't even do that because I'm scared I don't want to lose yeah, my job. That's you know? crazy. It's crazy. It's more important, bro. Your job's more important. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Then yeah. when you retire. When exactly. You retire, I wouldn't get that job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um... Yeah, listen, I know, <laughs> I wish I was more familiar with the show, but I know that that the girls out there that are tuning into this, they've got all kinds of questions. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like off the top of my head, think of some stuff that's, that's Frankie, what do you, you got? Know. You got a list of questions. Let's, yeah. I do, I do, I do. Right, I'm going to get some. Let's go. All right. <laughs> if you had to fight one of the guys on the show, who would it be? Uh, I'd fight any of them, bro. Any of them. Any all right. Any all right. I don't, I don't, I don't think <laughs> any of them. I got to be honest. Evan, 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 Evan might give me a little bit of it, you know? Do you, do you think Teresa and Joe will ever make amends? Uh, if the show continues to exist, no. No, because it's so bad right now. The it. show is, is volatile. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. to any relationship. Exactly. Reality yeah. TV yeah. is the yes, death. It is. You're right. lucky in that respect. That you're really lucky. You're blessed because your relationship is already over when you started. You were just friends. Mm. You know, it's reality TV is brutal it's on relationships. Yeah. It is. Yes, it is. It, it really it. is. Especially yeah. if you got, like you said, any skeletons in your closet that get dragged out, or and everybody does. There's nobody that doesn't. You know, we brought them out. My my skeletons made sure I knew they were going to come out. Yep. Anything you're on really reality TV and there's nothing that is sacred let's get him out right away I gotta ask you one that somebody asked me to ask because you're an attorney it makes sense because you're you were an attorney he wants to hire you yeah <laughs> I, I do like, can we can we really re litigate my divorce no I'm kidding um, I, I got the custody I wanted that's all I care about but um, do you think this is somebody told me to ask this do you think as an attorney that Polly and Teresa should have got a prenup Louis, no, I'm sorry, Louis, Louis, Louis. I'm sorry, Louis. Listen, everybody, everybody on their own. Everybody yeah. on their own. What people don't understand, right? and, and listen, did they, they? Did they? I don't think knowledge. they did, right? From, yeah. what they, from what we understand, no. Yeah. Okay, but um, what people don't understand is that um, Louis is very successful. Yeah, uh, Louis, Teresa's money doesn't pale. Oh. To look at oh, okay. Right? Oh, see, it was told to me. The, and I'm not that every, familiar, but it was told to me in reverse. Yeah, okay. You, do you, do okay. you think they're going to last? Uh, listen, I got to tell you. I don't, I don't, especially because they're being attacked so much. Mm. It's not only that's tough, Louis, bro. Louis and Teresa. It's Joe and, and Melissa. Yep. Guys, it puts a strain on a relationship. Yep. And if the show continues, I, I listen. I hope everybody. I hope everybody stays together. Mm. Well, yeah. Well, well, would you ever? Recommend like a, a new housewife joining the show. What I recommend? Yeah. Oh, listen. If, if I either recommend any, we, we might go. No, but I'm saying, like, would you tell someone? Would you tell someone they steer clear from this shit? Let's, mm. let's put it this way. My girlfriend was on last year. My girlfriend's friends with the girls on the show. All right, she would be a perfect fit. All right, and they, 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 uh, thank God they haven't asked her mm. right? because I, I wouldn't tell her to say no. All right, that's her choice. But I would hope she would say no mm. yep. because we don't need you know more I, drama. I, I don't. Well, what the probably the biggest drama on the show right is between Joe and Teresa brother and sister 
character, yeah, right? Yes. That's probably the biggest drama, the longest ongoing feud. Do you think that would exist if the show wasn't there? No. I don't either. No, no. From my limited no, knowledge no, of no, no. the show, I don't believe it would either. Would they ever make amends? So it is a blessing and a not curse. With, not with the show. Not with the show. Not with the show, man. Uh, uh, if the show, if if outside the show, if let's say the show didn't film for a year, um, then during that time they cool off and maybe talk without. But the show just brings more fuel yeah, to the fire, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely, it does. It, it does, and I, and I feel bad for you know I feel I feel bad for the kids, you know, because you know, Joe really loved his nieces, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And still love. Don't get me wrong. Loves his nieces. Had a great relationship with him, and vice versa. Yeah. All right, Teresa with, with Joe's kids, and the, the kids, all his cousins. Yeah. Have, you know, that's crazy. Italians are crazy like that. Oh, though. don't. Yeah, you know I mean they are. are. It's it's, uh, it's it's nuts like that. Frankie, you you will, you'll fight. What do you mean, as Italians, you'll fight with somebody in your family. Twenty years later, you're still not talking. Yeah. You yeah. forgot about what you fucking fight about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It is yeah. the Italian way. Yeah. It is exactly. Uh -huh. But the thing about it is, their parents are gone. They were so close before. They if referenced you, the parents a lot you know, when they're so arguing, well. and I'm like, Jesus their, Christ! Their parents yeah. would, their parents would fuck them up. Yeah. If they saw this. I know. Uh, right. I gotta be honest with you. I saw that in the reunion, referencing yes, exactly. Nona and Pop. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 100. Yeah. percent So, and it, it's a shame. I, I hate the fact that you know they are each other's only family, but you know sometimes sometimes you gotta take a step back. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta take. <laughs> so a step back. the question becomes right, and yeah. you can't answer this. Only they could answer is. Is it worth it? Because obviously the, yeah. the notoriety, the fame, and the money, was it in the end, do you think, what do you think their answer would be? In the end, was it worth it to lose that connection and that brotherly, sisterly bond that they have? Do you think they would say it was worth it yeah. or not? I gotta I got tell you something, both of them, knowing both Teresa's of them. probably been through yeah. arguably more. She yeah, lost yeah, a husband, yeah, she yeah, went yeah, to everything. serve time. Yeah. Arguably, she's been through the fucking ringer. I think, right? both, I think both Joe and Teresa would say it's not worth it. I think so too. I, yeah. would, I, would, if, if, no, I don't if, even if, know if, them. If, I mean, I know Joe a little bit. But. If they were being honest, I think they would truly say, listen, we'll still do the show, but you yeah. know, no, we don't think it's worth it. What we had to go through, yeah. we had is so it's because in the end you can't take that you can't take that the fame don't matter in the end the money you can't take with you your family i mean you can't take it with you but they'll be there by your side in the know, end you know exactly right exactly yeah. oh so, I, listen I, I hope the best for the two of them i do uh, you know trying to stay neutral between the two of them is is, is, is tough is for hard, you know but i yeah. i hope listen i do i think louis is, you know people do people think that louis married Teresa for the wrong reason i mean mm. i don't think so and what i i don't believe that was one second okay no. i believe true you know louis loved Teresa and loves Teresa. um uh, but dude, there's got to be strain. There's got to be strain. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 in the outskirts. I'm in the outskirts of the show. They're the sh stars of the show, mm. and it puts the strain on my relationship. And my girlfriend is the most the easygoing person in the world, mm. and it puts a little strain on our relationship. Yeah. So you're the spotlight. You, you, oh man. Yep. So no, nah, I, I wouldn't want to be there. Yeah. I, what, what do you think will come first? Do you think they'll choose to stop signing a contract for, for new stuff, or do you think that the show will fizzle out? I don't think the show's going to fizzle out, because honestly, this year, as bad as it was, the, yeah. ra the ratings were still cranking. Yep. The ratings were still cranking. As much as everybody bitched and moaned about it and complained, uh, I, I, I hate to say it. But How I, many seasons? Are, is this is going into, we just finished our 13th season. 13 years? 13 years? It basically, wow. or, or, yeah, yeah, right? think about it, yes. What, it is an ever-changing cast all right housewives drop out in and out all the time all basically the, all right the time. all the time yeah there's a new girl this year danielle i know a little yeah, bit we went, right? out, to, went yeah. out to dinner yeah. with her recently yeah. Yeah. or did you guys yeah. you went with danielle, yeah. Yeah. danielle yeah. No, i didn't get invited but i do know danielle a little bit you went out with danielle with him yeah yeah went out with him. <laughs> After you him, bro. well his ex-wife was there oh his yeah. ex-wife yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have been a third wheel. Oh my god, you serious? Oh, yeah, exactly. no, it's all good. I know Danielle a little bit, so yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. she's cool. I, I, I she's like cool. Danielle. Yep, yep, I, yep. Danielle brings energy to the yep. show. So Our kids it, cheered together, or went, I shouldn't say together, went to the same cheer. Did school, they really? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like it, and our husband. I, yep, you know, yep. Listen, he works with me. He, yeah. I hire his company. Yeah, he does uh, security, security systems. Yeah, security, yeah, yeah. And all our dispensaries. Yep. He does all of it. Yeah. So I try to be friends with everybody on the cast. I'd like to to be more. Yeah. 
Um, but now Danielle's good. There's another new girl uh, from Franklin Lakes that was that's in there. I, I'm friends with her husband. Uh, so he, 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 listen, guys, I'm not one. I'm mm. not one to ever. That's why I I liked you from yeah, the, yeah, when yeah, I yeah. you know when I when the girl got me one. I was like, this is big motherfucker that never gets involved in drama. How is that possible? Exactly. I feel like you just bonk them all in the head, uh, and be like, shut up. But I you, wish it was you, that easy. You never get involved. You know, so uh, or the, rarely the, get yeah, involved. I should say. Yeah, when you get involved, you know, you, you take shots. But it also makes you more. Re- don't they like it? Doesn't it make you more relevant? I, here's an example. Like back when I was, you know, when we were together, me and the ex, I went over when they were filming in Italy, yeah. and I went over there for a whole weekend. I was there for a whole weekend. Had no drama, no fighting, no nothing. Not one second of it made the air because everybody, people yeah. go to hockey fights to watch the, fu- I mean, hockey games, games to watch, watch fights break out. People go watch NASCAR to see yeah, the crashes. Exactly right. We got never made. I never made the air yeah, in Italy right. because yeah. you wouldn't even know when I was there because no. we got along great. Exactly. Nobody wants to see you holding hands riding a Ferris wheel. That's it. So being a guy that avoids drama I mean and you and you and they you're obviously well liked because they keep bringing you back you know what I mean so uh, I think that that says something about your character at least ah, thank you, you know? very much I thought last year I was gonna I was gonna be done get the axe you know, right Del- Dolores has a new guy yep. all right and now it's a housewife show right all right uh, I'm not a house husband. Uh, yeah. I'm not an ex. Yeah, I'm an ex, but you know she's got a new guy. Right. But they kept calling. You know, they kept calling to, to film it, and, and and I I did. I enjoy filming. I, yeah. I, I yeah. some scenes. It's I, fun, man. Especially it, it, yes. when I was younger. When I when I was involved in it. I mean, I was yeah. I was always older than than the ex. But you know, I was I was a younger man. I was early thirties. Or it was a lot of fun. And then kids is a, for me. Kids was a game changer, obviously. Okay. But uh, yeah. So Del- 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 Dolores was asked to be one of the house in New Jersey when it's when it started yep. way back in and she came to me even though we weren't married and she said and she goes I don't think I'm gonna do it because our kids are so young and yep. I'd rather not and she didn't yep. so when they came back to her later on the kids are older how they, does that they, work like, uh, who's the first who are the first housewives the ha- first housewives over was, by us were, was it season was it New Jersey or like the first no ever? I think New York was New York I right. think no that or Orange, Orange County or New York I mm-hmm. think it was the first and then uh, then New Jersey I think we're third okay but now how, how many are there now I lost count, bro. Yeah, so, yeah. they're I, basically I, all. I, 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 any I, affluent I, area has a housewife I, show. I feel I, like, right? You know, I, I myself, listen. I, I, I have friends in all of the franchises. Mm-hmm. I do. Um, that, that you know, we, I, I pick up the phone and call, uh, whether it's Orange County, but I, I listen. I like mm-hmm. Miami. I mean, you know why? Because it's just you know, we all like going to Miami. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's, 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 well, they have it in Dubai now, right? Dubai. They have the housewives of Dubai. Bro, they yes. say they say they are like. Yeah. It's like one guy with say, a bunch of. They, say, they <laughs> say it's 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 not millionaires, it's billionaires over there. Exactly. Oh, it's like yeah. a whole nother level over oh, there. Yeah. yeah. It it is, you know. But you gotta be I think to a point, listen, people wanna see extravagant lives, but they, they if you go beyond it. Right to, to the point where they know it's never going to happen. Not them. attainable. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, then yeah. it becomes almost like ah, it's not yeah. real. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. Uh, but, but it, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's, it's it grows on you, bro. You get you you get stopped out and about everywhere. everywhere. Just did. Yeah. I was just I just had everywhere. dinner with him and yeah. girls yeah. were hanging off him. I, I, I get the honesty, <laughs> but it's 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 nice. It's, yeah. It is really. I you know always nice. I never ever say no. Mm. Uh, I don't care if I'm eating whatever I'm doing. Never never say Same. no. Same. You're all right. You can't. It take, uh, to me, this has just always been my take on it, and I, I'm, I'm a nobody, but to me, it takes longer to be a fucking dick than it does to be nice. Yeah, and I was right. just raised to be a nice, like, like, you know, it can be. So, so I don't know. Someone said this to me. One day, nobody's going to ask for your fucking picture. Nobody, exactly. Nobody, bro. So, yeah, you know, enjoy while, while yeah. it's around. Somebody, yeah. so, if somebody is that excited to come up to you, why would you ruin it? Why would you ruin 100%. it? One hundred percent. And then one th- one thing to, 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 to Teresa, I will tell you, b- being as huge a star as she is, there's times that they say we're driving, we're driving it down the parkway. If we get out of the rest station, all right, she will be mobbed. It's warm. Yeah. She will still say yeah. hello. Sometimes she'll not get out of the car. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Rather than because right, 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 because right. listen, I get I get recognized. All right. She gets swarmed. Yeah. All right. She gets swarmed. Uh, yeah. But one thing about her, she she's every time she's ever been with me, she's never said no. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Well, that's, that, that's, goes, that goes a long way. Next level stars, right? They could never live like yeah. like I don't know the Justin Biebers of the world. Right. They they could never yeah. live a normal life, right? Never. never. Get it? Why well, fly landed somewhere? Let's get no, that no. son of a bitch. We get a beer, buddy. Oh, right. I'll take another one too, right. pal. Thank you. 
Our producer fills in as a as a as a waiter sometimes as well. So. <laughs> you got another one here? Yes, I will. Please, thank you so much. Thanks, Andrew. I'm gonna use that Fra Frankie flip flop. <laughs> there you go. Let's go let's I kind of want to use that. I'll take that. Uh, you want to trade? You like this one? That's cool. Thanks, uh, there, there's another one of those. That's all right. I'll do this one. I don't need a I don't need a beer cap. Look at that. Shout out our newest sponsor, Rip Curl. No, Fo what is this? Hurl Curly? <laughs> Hurly? Is it Hurly? I don't know. Reef. 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 Thank you, brother. You got Reef it, brother. Sandals, our newest sponsor. Flip flops. Okay, what do you call those? Guys. Sandals? Flip flops? Jerusalem? Flip flops, baby. Jerusalem cruisers? Jesus. Jesus, Jesus sandals. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well. So, um, you you don't know. You don't know if you'll get a call back from Bravo? I, I, I got invited to BravoCon this year, all right? I have no idea what that is. Oh, hey, what is it? You never heard of Comic-Con? Of course. I mean, oh, I, yeah, I can yeah, okay. surmise what all it right, is. Well, I was well, I was right, looking so for a little right. an explanation, you know? Bravo, like, like, Bravo where Con, is it? It's always been at the Jacob Javits Center, but okay. this year it's in Vegas. Oh, wow. It's in Vegas this year, so I was invited. Um, it, it is just total bedlam. Yeah? It's three days. You have people spending $1,500 to come and you know, see everybody, right? And it's just... Now, is all the housewives? It, like from, it, not only the Housewives, every Bravo show. Oh, every Bravo, every show. Bravo oh, show. Oh, oh. You got everybody's there, and every you're coming up, and it's 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 just. It, let me tell you, you go there, and they pay you for it. They pay you nice yeah. for it, but you work. Mm. Believe me, you work. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you you. you and when you go to the hotel, <laughs> Fly just landed on that mic. <laughs> He's on the mic. Oh, get him, Frank. Get him. Get him. Oh, get him. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Oh. Miyagi. No, he's over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you, you when you get to the venue, you get out. Everybody's lined up behind the barricades, and and, and my girlfriend's with me. I, you drag her, I drag her. I go down the barricade, take a picture. Of is she okay with it? Because I'm she's sure great. women are she's throwing great. themselves at you. I, it, the only time we never, she's never, she's very, very secure, very mm -hmm. secure. That's good. We went to the Bahamas once, down yeah. there, and there was these groups of these women. All right, we're like in her forties, and they're drinking. So. Yeah. They come. We could. It was the worst it ever was, and I couldn't understand why. We're walking hundred feet. Next thing you know, come up. And next thing you come call. To the point now, they come up and they start touching your face. Uh -oh. right? like this, and I look at my girl. Say, no, no, okay. She's in the shower. I said, babe, I'm gonna go uh, get a uh, Starbucks. I'll be right back. Not a fucking chance you're leaving. <laughs> I said, excuse me. You, know, you ain't going no place. Right? <laughs> you know. So, yeah, but no. She. She's. Let me tell you. She's as good as we can get. Yeah. Right? It, yeah it is. I've met Brittany. Great girl. Yeah, my. I think our our girls are going to be friends now. Oh, so, yeah. well, they, yeah. Let me tell you, the first time they got together, Frank yeah. and her out on a dance floor, they're, they're yeah. very, very similar. Oh, yeah, very yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. Just having a good time. So, me and him are looking at each other. Think, yeah. Time to go yet? Time to go? <laughs> yeah. Got to wake up tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, anytime you're part of anything that gets any sort of notoriety or fame, you're always going to have temptation there. And, you know, like you got to realize when you got something good in your life that don't do stupid things, you know. So, we were just talking about that. You're right, man. More. You know, listen, it, it, it is. There's temptations all the time. Yes. I wake up in the morning, I gotta be honest, my DMs, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. You were telling me you get gay dudes in the DMs, yeah, right? It, you're like, you're I, like I, I gotta I, be I, nice I, to Roger, the gay dudes. you're up in them? You're in them? <laughs> <laughs> I sent him a so, dick pic, girl. Why'd you think he met me for dinner? Yeah, that's it, man. That's why you responded back <laughs> to him. <laughs> you know? I said that's why you're here. That's why you're here. <laughs> yeah, they send you, I mean, they get videos. And me and my girl looking at it. I'm, I'm like, I gotta turn the phone to see what the hell was going on here. You know? Yeah, your girl looks at him with you. I, 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 so she's that secure. I make, but I make her feel secure. Here's my, here, you can look at anything to make sure yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, I'm not going back to this one or that one, you know. So you know, they're, they're right all the time. You know, you don't be fairly meet up and meet us and that. So my girl's got to watch. Yep. All right, my girl's got to watch. All right, she's like, you does, sure? does she have an interest in like? Uh, I could say next season they they said, hey, you, we want you. Would she do it? She's I young. I would imagine that'd be excitable it for is. her, right? Think about it, man. She's 33 years old. You're, you're yeah. right. It, it's a uh, yeah, that's her choice. Yeah, that would be her yep. choice. Good know? answer, Frank. Good answer. She's probably she might listen yeah. to this. Yeah, good yeah, answer. I'm sure good she answer. Know. <laughs> exactly. Damn right. You notice everything's good about her. <laughs> sure. Come on, I'm not stupid. I've been there. But um, you guys recently just just bought. You're moving out of David's. You just oh, got a place. Yes, you're yes, moving yes, out of David's. Yes, we did. Yes, yes we did. But where where are you guys at? Well, I mean, you got the Shore House. So you're down here a fair amount. But now wait a minute. Let's talk about the Shore House. Is that is that is that when you and Dolores were together? Because don't you share that or no? No, what we do is no. it's my, I, when our divorce got so bad. I said Dolores, Dolores, do me a favor. Yeah. 
Give me the shore house. Yeah. All right, give me the shore house, and you can have everything else. And this is Dolores. There's a perfect Dolores <laughs> example story. So I just built, just knocked down my old house, built a new house. All right, so it's three stories, and the third story is nothing but the master bedroom. So I said, Dolores, she get yeah, you get it. Divorce is over. She comes down. She got her suitcase on the third floor, packing up her bag and everything else. And she's not like upset. I was like, wow, maybe she didn't like the house too much. You know? She takes her bag, looks in, walks down the stairs to the second floor, goes to one of the bedrooms, unpacks her suitcase. That's been her bedroom for the past twenty-two years. All right. I said, what, what are you doing? She goes, I said you can have the house. I didn't say I'm not staying. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, exactly. That's so so awesome. it's, it's my house, but uh, Del- Dolores is that's great, welcome, man. Whatever she wants. That's the yeah. best. Yeah. You probably have the best divorce yeah. story of anybody I know. Oh, dude, I didn't you even, literally I, do. Oh, I, yeah. you know, I didn't even get into the, the, get into the the, the rated R parts. <laughs> All right, believe me, it, it was rough. But so, yeah, it's it, that that house is mine, but yeah. it, it's mine by title only. Right. It's my. It's one place where we're still. You know, listen, it's a short house. When you guys, yeah. you, know, you guys live down here. Right. For yeah. us, this is where our family all comes together. Right. All right. Wow. So it's nice. We have. Yeah, we have a good that's time. amazing. We, we have a good time. You know, I even got my dad. Your kids. Years. Older now, I'm sure they come down and use it too, they, they right? Come, yeah. They're down every weekend. That's awesome. You know? Although Paulie hasn't come down yet. All right. Uh, so, uh, you know, and I'm hoping he gets comfortable enough where he yeah. can't come down. Yeah, we'll see. He's gonna have to get comfortable with some things. I mean, obviously, everybody has to. You have to make, you know, especially when children are involved in your divorce. I mean, you got to. Everybody's got to make some sort of sacrifices and be comfortable in certain settings. You know what I mean? Yes. Especially if you you want to do what you said. One party, one birthday party, one, yeah, party, which right. makes sense. You know, my kids are spoiled. They get two of everything right now. Exactly. You know, exactly. You know, so but at least you guys are. Yeah, listen, Frankie was mentioning it. Your parents, you get divorced. Yep. My parents didn't talk. Yeah, you know, so it's like, oh, okay, you got him on Christmas to twelve o'clock, and twelve o'clock he got yeah. over here. I, I, never, I, never happened. It's funny you said that. My yeah. my dad and my mom were married for 25, 26 years, got divorced. My dad's actually been. Both parents have been with the person they're with now. Married to the person with now longer than they were married yeah, to each right. other. I think my father's been with Betty for thirty years. But anyway, it was a pretty, pretty brutal divorce, as most of them yes. are. Not horrible, not the worst one you've ever seen in your life. But you know, got a little nasty, content, con- contentious, and basically didn't speak at all. Yeah. I think thirty years has gone by when my sister just flew him out. My mom was living in Florida for a while, and then she was living in Mexico for a while. Well, then she just moved to Michigan to be next to my near my sister. Um, and she's literally right down the street. My, my sister just flew my dad to Michigan, and my my sister and my mom are real close. They live right next to each other. Sure. She's posting these pictures, and I'm looking at it. my dad is sitting here, and my mom is sitting are right here. I'm like, I have not seen that in thirty fucking years. I couldn't believe it. But they both had smiles oh, on their face. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, like, so there's hope. There's hope, Rob. No, no. They're both. They're it's both. Same for you. It's hope my, for no, you. my mom's husband was right on the other side. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so what do you? Oh, they, for me, yeah. Did Jenny me, yeah. Jenny get remarried? Not remarried, engaged okay. to a nice guy. Listen, all I care about, I don't, I don't, I'm not it's getting. A 20, it's a twenty. It's a Roger twenty years. Younger. <laughs> we have a third oh, son. We have a third <laughs> child. Yeah, we have a third child. Is he like he's younger? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. he's young. Yeah, how about? I got I she upgraded. I got replaced. Literally, tw- yeah. literally twenty years younger. Than Roger. Yeah, yeah. Is twenty he, years younger. Same yeah. version. Say two. <laughs> he's six four, two hundred fifty pounds. Are you he's serious? fucking Roger, twenty years younger. Yeah. But oh, just, I swear, I mean, he's all balls. though. I did a lot of steroids. I got no nuts. Like, <laughs> you're all dick. You're all dick, though, buddy. All right, let's go. That's let's it. go. That's what, that's what matters more. <laughs> okay. Dude, it's like an old car, bro. Trade it yeah. for a new one. Listen, I've said this from day one. I'm not. I've never said a bad word about the guy. We're in the same room together all the time we get along i try to conversate with him um my kids have never said a bad word about him i like him i like him that, that, my kids have never said a bad word. That's all I give a fuck about. You know what right, I mean? Right. So, absolutely. Yeah. That's that, that, honestly, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. You know, it's sure. all that matters to me. I don't. I'm not getting involved in the inner workings of their relationship. Right. They're engaged. They're going to get married. Maybe have children. That's yep. that's. I wish arm them, wrestling. I Who wish wins, them though? well. Who wins arm oh, wrestling? Don't, don't, yeah. I I would guess he would win an arm wrestling. He went, he ain't winning in a street fight. Why would arm wrestling? Wrestling's gay, bro. Who the fuck cares about arm wrestling? I'll probably. Who be cares I'll about arm wrestling? I'll probably be an arm wrestling. All right, arm wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's all right well, i just believe that i'm gonna win any fight nothing against him i believe i'm gonna win any fight don't you as long as it's over mr fucking ufc over there don't you no. you ever gone into a fight and not thought you were gonna win that's no. stupid no i'm not talking shit about him at all yeah. just yeah. saying 
Uh, yeah, I've spent many times I got into a fight and I got my ass kicked. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, definitely. You know, I like, thought I was going to win. Ray Toy wasn't, yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? You're right. There's been many times. I don't know, you, guys, you guys would know. But temptations down the street. Uh, yeah. 100%. Come on, come on, bro. 100%. Right? They were good old days. Oh, yeah. man. Yep, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, there's been many times. Like going in thinking you're going to win. Yep. But things were different back then. You want to know something? You either got your ass kicked, you kick somebody's ass when you're done. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Pick the guy up. Mm-hmm. All right, I talk to you. You don't go call the cops. You don't go sue nah, somebody. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, different nah, world, yeah, it's bro. Oh, my yeah. God. You start a fight with somebody, you get your ass beat. There's beat. very little right. real men left out oh there that will actually square up, throw down, whoever fucking wins, be oh, like, bro, fuck, good scrap. Yeah, you know, you it. got fucked up, but fucked yeah. you up, but, you know, maybe next time you get me. Maybe Dude, people pull knives down, people pull fucking, you know, they're, or they'll get their buddies you know, to fight you. Call or the cops, that's what it is. Call the cops or sue you after the fight's over. But they're the ones who started. Yeah, exactly. Can't no, take it, man. Absolutely. I can't take it. It's no. a pussification of America. Oh, I'm that's, so that's true. That's true. So done with yeah. it. Ah, oh. uh, Frankie's Frankie's dip, dabbling into the sister okay. and mom <laughs> question. Mary wants to know. What does Mary want to know? Now we got. I think we got it all. Did we get yeah. it all? We got it all. I wrote a few down. Who are you the closest out of the husbands? Who are you closest? To what you say? Joe Joe Beningo. All right, yeah. Mark's yeah. husband. Here. Yeah, that's who. Uh, and who, do you, who? Who? I mean, this is a little loaded. Who are the least closest with? Oh, I got one for you. Uh, you want to say? I think that everybody. Else. I don't have an issue anymore with anybody else. Yeah. So there's some guys that I don't see as much as I would see the other guys, uh, but I'm, I'm closest with, with Joe Beningo, who I socialize with the most outside right. the show. That's that's whose husband? I'm Mar- not Margaret. 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 Yes. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm, oh, he's yeah. quiet too. He's, he's uh, quiet, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, well, he's got the Harleys. He's got the guns. You know. Yep. So Com- yeah. got a commonality. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got one for you. I, I wrote this down. I'll read it as I wrote it. The ladies who follow the show want to know what inspired your latest Easter Bunny photo shoot, and can they expect uh, more? Uh, uh, for holiday shoots, <laughs> yo, and listen in post. You got to throw the throw the Easter Bunny pick of Frank oh, in there. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> and, and my my birthday last year, I think I wake up in the morning, I get this pain. I end up in intensive care for three days. Jesus, right? I got a tube down my throat. So I, that day, they're filming. It, it, it was for a fundraiser for women's breast cancer. Mm. All the guys in the show doing a scene, and, and you name it making his calendar so I'm not in it so I said hold on but now Paulie's in it alright Paulie, oh, Paulie's, Paulie's a bartender so I, I get out of the hospital so now they want me to do the thing so now I'm doing it by myself now, now I'm in no shape because I'm in a hospital for four days you know yeah. then they got IV on you so now I'm not just, I take a diuretic first of all I freaking starve myself right? <laughs> I, I get my girl to spray tan me okay <laughs> at this point I'm, I'm, now I'm going to do a shoot and I, you know, I'm pumping up in a car I'm pumping up in a house and now I go out <laughs> so, I go I go I cause so yeah, much the trend shit. trend cough. Uh, what is that? <laughs> exactly. You know? Uh, but listen, so I got some bad comments about it, but ninety five percent of the stuff Bro, loved it. Loved it. If really. you posted a picture of a rock, uh, people yeah. would comment uh, badly. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a yeah, shame. Yeah. But they did. It was oh my god, they're like, Oh, that steroid head. Oh, that. Fuck you know, that, you know, bro. So exactly. You know? Don't even let it bother you. I used to and and, and Frankie he you know, this guy's been my, my mentor many times, but he's like, Bro, post and ghost. Just fucking That's post it. and ghost. That's so and true, I, I'm guilty man. of reading comments yes. sometimes. And I used to. I never got mad because I always was wise enough to know that it's a that's a fucking make believe world that doesn't exist. I never got mad, but I wouldn't say that I didn't get bothered a little bit. Yes. And I would respond with with um, you know like like wise. I'd be a wise ass. I'd you know insult him in some. I try to word it in a way where it was witty, but I wouldn't be insulting. You know what I mean? I don't even have the time for that now. No. I just fucking delete it. Like I'll just fucking block. And see you later. I don't. I'm not even engaging. Say, hate me. What? A, good for you. Fucking. You know, people get hung up on shit from five years ago that I've left in my past, and it's fucking over. Exactly. You want to fucking live your life worried about my past? Keep going. Keep you. You do that. I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? They have no life. They have no exactly. Life. At that point, they have no life. Listen, you have a problem with what happened between me and Dolores all right Dolores does it right right Dolores yeah exactly right. exactly, come on. exactly. Right, come on. Shut that's how down. that's what I believe yeah, yeah for sure the, the hardest ones and I'm sure for you too and I don't even know if you get it because your kids older the hardest ones for me to ignore are the ones that 
shit on my kids. That's hard to ignore because because those people did that in real life. I'd fucking end them. I'd end that, them right there. They never. It's never. Not even about me personally. It's never happened in real life. But the ones on the internet that they're like. I, I remember one time. I don't even. Story. I don't even want to say. It. I'm not even going to say. That, that's. A I don't even, it's not even worth repeating. But yeah. said something about my no, son. Nope. And I was like, man, God's got a special fucking place for you one day. He's gonna send you somewhere where you damn. Right. You know. That's your hundred. I don't. My kids, like you said, are older. They don't say nasty things about my kids. But th- what used to really bother me is when he used to come after me as a father. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. That used to bother yeah. me. Yeah. Listen, I would put my relationship up with my children, both my daughter and my son, against anybody's. Yep. And right. I say, and then I had the most, the most incredible relationship. Amen. Amen. For, for sure. Uh, Amen. I have a great relationship with both my kids. You yep. know, and again, like you said, they're your friends, all right? Yeah. But they know. Listen, even at this age, don't cross the phone. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm still your father. And, and obviously, on, on your show, um, Housewives of New Jersey, kids are on that show. Yes. You know, even, even I had a spinoff show, kids, but like to a limited degree. They're not they're not there for criticism. They're very limited. They're not involved in the drama. No. Don't criticize no, them. You know what I mean? So. Now, people are just, e- there's some evil people yeah, out there, yeah, and they, they want it. They just want the reaction. That's what they want. That's what they want. And then as soon as you react, they're like, oh, I was just playing. Yeah. Oh, you're my fan. I'm yeah. a big, big fan. Like, yeah. fuck out of here. They do go, well, exactly what you said. If you ignore it, it goes away. It does. Right. You know, if you if you respond, all you're doing is feeding it. It right. goes on for right. another Giving day. Giving them attention. That's what they want. Well, and you, and you do it in your most vulnerable moments. Obviously, yeah. I've had some shit in my my life went through a shitty divorce. You've had some shit, yes. Frank, Frankie. I think you could relate to like a loss in a fight, right? You're vulnerable because you don't like losing. Yep. People are gonna come after you in those vulnerable oh, moments, yeah, right? Yeah, and it, that's sure. that's where that's where you figure out the merit of your character yeah. if you can let it go. You know, dude, I'm gonna let a secret right now, which I, only my girlfriend knows. I've gone. I, I gotta be honest. I get my rocks off. Fucking when somebody comes after me, attacks me hard. My whole thing now, and it's been nasty since the reunion, dude. I want them to say they're sorry to me. <laughs> so what I do is I keep going back and forth with them. I said, and I explain to them and nicely and not arguing with them. And they say, I'm up to 26. 26 people have said, I'm sorry. You know, you are the person I thought you were. I apologize. <laughs> right? Great. And bro, so now it, it's like a game. That's it, great. But you like don't find game. that time. I feel like it's a man, fun. I feel like a, maybe in your evening hours you do it. But a, a guy exactly like right. you that's so motivated, so driven, and got so much shit going right, on. We just talked right. about all your endeavors. Where do you find the time to do exactly that? Exactly what you said. When you get into bed, yeah, and yeah. I, I look, and I try to go to bed. I yeah. really do by eleven, eleven thirty. Yeah. All right, and then, then I lay there and I'm staring at the ceiling. You know, right? <laughs> Watching reruns of Miami Vice. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I love Miami Vice. Do you? Great yeah. show. Yeah, Great so, show, bro. Yeah, my girlfriend. My girlfriend's a lot younger. She's never Great seen show. Never seen, oh, wow. Get so out now, of here. when you started from epi- season one, episode one, I'm taking her through the entire. Oh, oh wow! That's how fucking, many, that's a great how show, many seasons? There's six. That's why you love Miami so much. I love Miami, bro. That's why you love Miami. She's looking at me. She goes, "Did you? Hey, you guys really." wore clothes like that <laughs> you really did that with your hair you no. really danced that way I said you danced yeah. that way it was <laughs> yeah. never fucking better the white pleated pants yeah, you know, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, so yeah. What, I, what I started doing on my Instagram I did two of them I'm gonna get back into it now I show a scene with Sonny Crockett you know walking down the beach with the music then the next one is me <laughs> the, same, the same outfit on right They're walking down the beach yeah so we're trying to do that <laughs> try to play on it try to bring it back you know That's great. I'm trying to get people out there maybe to hire me to fill this just a star in it so oh it's it yeah man I think I'm just going I'm just scrolling over my notes here and I think I got most of the questions that I that I had to ask out about the show and yeah man Anyway, guys, it was it was good. Uh, you know, I like this. I like my podcast. I really do. I love the talking to the other dude. There's there's not dudes. Yeah, so, yeah, not yeah, dudes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in, I'm in my. We don't have a lot of girls on the show, not because yeah. we won't. We just yeah. I think we're more of a dude podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah. feel like most podcast. I mean, most dudes that listen to podcasts listen to dudes yeah. that talk about Definitely dude right. dude stuff you know what I mean 100% right, right. yes All right. but with the women the women follow the podcast they, they do uh, listen yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have a big women following yeah. and I know they're gonna be fucking dying uh, to hear what well, you gotta I, say I, 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 that's why I'm sorry if I messed up with some of the questions guys cause I'm not that familiar with the show but I do watch it a little bit so I might have messed a few up but I tried to get the good ones in uh, and not put Frank on the spot too bad well listen man at least after two years we finally got together we did man you I know, feel we've sure. Literally, if you scroll through our DMs, it would be going on forever exactly. and ever and ever, sure. dude. But I exactly. can see why everybody loves you, man. You're uh, and why you're a staple on the show, and Thank why you, you keep back. You, you got great energy. You're fucking mm-hmm. high energy. I, that's my kind of people, man. I'm, dude, uh, we're here for a short period yeah. of time. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. Exactly. Don't, don't let the little things go. That's right. That's right. That's right. I said, I said, when they hear for quantity, I'm here for 
quality, You're baby. Right, baby. Yeah. You're right, man. That's a good say. I need to hear that often yeah. because I do get hung up on on little shit that doesn't yeah. matter sometimes. Not all the time. Right. So I'm getting better. I still Listen, do it occasionally. I still have all the employees I had when I had my law firm. All right, still uh. work for me. Still working. And what I do is, and to my my one secretary's been with me for 33 years. My wow. other secretary's been 26 years. All right, so you know I'm never gonna let him go. But I have on my computer. I have a screensaver. I got this little kid. He's got to be six, seven years old. He's running around a track. He's crossing the finish line. All right. He's got his hands up in the air. He's got his big smile on his face, and he's got two aesthetic legs. Oh yeah. All right. And let me tell you something. This kid's laughing. He's crossing. The finish line and he's enjoying life. Yep. Bro, my problems don't even care. Ain't shit. Don't Perspective. even care. Ain't shit. Absolutely yep. exactly. fucking right. God bless, man. We got healthy kids. Yep. I saw your kids, your beautiful yeah. kids on the way in, Frankie. Obviously, Roger, I know yours. That's it matters, man. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 that often brings me down to size Absolutely. is when I when I hear of I get a lot of GoFundMe requests. Yeah, and always, and I could I could always. post five a day. I'm not, and I don't mean to be a dick. I've said this before yeah. to Frankie. I don't mean to be a dick, but if your dog, you know, fucking has whatever, a, a hip dysplasia, I'm not posting your GoFundMe. Figure that out. I'm not that I, not that I don't want your dog, but I'm not posting. People that post me with sick children or, or, or tragedies, I post as much as I can because kids are my weakness, man. I mean, and, and, and it brings me. You know, I get you getting a little emotional. It brings me back to reality where, like, I'm so blessed to have two healthy kids. None of this other dumb shit that bothers me should matter. Why am I letting it bother me? You know, you're a hundred percent. And listen, yeah, listen, I'll blow some smoke up his ass now. Yeah, <laughs> before, before even listen, when, when you went through your divorce and, and everything else, and I wrote him one time, he never fucking responded. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But, but I did. I, I said, sent you right, a dick pic, man. Right, 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 right. Honestly, I, I said, this ain't a dick pic from a 250 pounder. It's like from a 12 year old boy. Right? I know it. All right. So, but I, I said, bro, listen, man, you're going through divorce, man. Everyone reach out. You know, I went through the same thing, uh, and it, it, this is what it should be. But then, and and watch. Is this it, true? Because I'm going to go back. Go, go, just, I'm just, scrolling go, back. Way, I don't remember back, this. Way back. Way, really? Way, 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 absolutely, man. And then the one thing which I, it was most importantly, bro, bro, I saw when I really started reaching out to you, bro. Is when he was in the back of the cop car <laughs> saying, oh, well, I got arrested tonight. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, never got arrested ever. Wrong. But OK, but it no, wasn't back was, of a cop car, though. No, it was, it was <laughs> there was a girl in a wheelchair. A girl had, a, had a, an, a, an ailment. Uh, Ooh, you went and delivered a freaking wheelchair to her. Yeah. Mm. North and, Carolina. Absolutely. Yeah. Bro, and I yeah. said, "Holy shit, man!" Caitlin. All right, exactly. Caitlin, eighteen-year-old girl, diagnosed with uh, terminal cancer. Who it was her dream to come here, go to the Jersey Shore house, and meet some of the cast. I'm not. I don't know if she was able to reach out to anybody or not, but somebody got in touch with me, and Jesse and I actually went to meet her at the ice cream store. Jesse's a good friend of mine. Does yeah. a lot for the community. Jesse came with me. Met her, just she just was the most. Eight, this girl is eighteen years old and knows that she has terminal cancer, um, and was was at the time I not sure she was wheelchair bound, but she was close, um, and just her not just her her entire family, her aunts, her mom met them all, and they were just the most genuine, down to earth people. She had siblings that were all perfectly fine. She was the youngest, you know. She had older sisters and. Anyway, long story short, she'd said, well, hey, I'm coming back. I think this was in the spring. I'm coming back this summer. I'd love to meet up again. You know, this was great. And get, and got sicker and couldn't come back. So we fucking drove to North Carolina. Yeah, it, bro. yeah. it was I when I first there. started dating Danielle. Yeah. And I was like, listen, I'm driving to North Carolina. Do you want to take the ride with me? Yeah. And she did. And it's kind of a funny story. Did I can, she, she I, can I can laugh about it now. But when I was going through that bullshit... I'm not a big pharma guy. I'm not a pill guy. But I was on some, some pretty heavy antidepressants at the time because I couldn't find a way out. I was just looking fucking for a way out of the fucking pain and the misery, right? And I was on this 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 heavy dose, and I, I met a girl. And I was like, wow, you know, like a, a pretty girl likes me. Like, life ain't so bad, you know? And um, I asked her. This was maybe like a month in of to, to, to dating. Do you want to take a ride? I'm going to go see this girl. I'm going regardless. Do you want to go? She said, yeah, I'm in. Let's go. We took the ride down, well, maybe a couple days, three, four days before that. I said, fuck, I don't need these fucking antidepressants. I chucked them. Well, Did you really? You're not supposed to just cold no. turkey. So, bro, we're lit, like fucking 
Mariah Carey came on the radio, I would just start crying on the way down. I'd be like, wait, tears wait, coming. Wait, I'm wait, like, what the wait, fuck wait, is wrong? Yeah, I heard this story for yeah. Jesse was in the car too. No, no, no. Oh, me, okay, just okay, me and okay, and, okay. and, okay. and, and Jesse was in the car. No, too. no, no, no. no. <laughs> just me and Danielle driving to North Carolina, and just it was just it was just a lot of emotions. I knew what I was going to see. I was probably going to go see a girl that wasn't going to make it much longer in this new relationship. Uh, off antidepressants, cold turkey them a few days before. And just a lot of emotions going on, you know? And Oh, and going to see my best friend's grave, who's buried in North Carolina. Oh, you serious? My best friend, Bobby, who died in 2007. Best friend. I was I was stopping at his grave before going to see. So I had all this whirlwind of emotions. And this poor fucking new girl sitting over there probably like, oh, shit, you know, I've only this known this guy. I've only down. known this guy like a month, and I'm going and fucking, you know, driving halfway across the country with him. And uh, I just, I remember, I remember like, like weeping once. Once, like for no good reason, and looking over, and it was like a tear coming down her eye. And I was like, "Holy fuck, this is weird." Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Oh, bro, um, that's like going to this seriously. That's like doing a post cycle. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> but yeah, Caitlin, sweetest girl ever, got there. Um, uh, you know, we we we, uh, we got her out of the. House. I, I remember they they didn't have. I, I don't want to put their business out there, but they didn't have the means to sure. build the girl yeah. a wheelchair ramp. So I remember I had to pick her up and carry her out because I was like, let's get out of here, let's go, you know, let's go. And and she took me to like her favorite restaurant, and the whole family came, and yeah, so yeah, it was uh, amazing, beautiful experience. And that's that's there's another yeah. human being. That reminds me of things aren't so bad, you know. Right. Constantly, I have a picture of my house to this day. I have yeah, a picture of you, Caitlin. Yeah. Good for you, bro. That's yeah. I got to be honest with you. That's what I said. This yeah. is this is a guy I like to have. Right? Yeah. Oh, this listen, man. I made that. mistakes. I ain't fucking yeah, perfect, yeah. bro. Trust me. But but yeah. I try. You know all, what I mean? All made mistakes. Yeah. All made mistakes. Please. It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, I st I'm still fucking up. Yeah. I'm oh yeah. I'm 59 years old. I don't old, think we stop, stop, right? No. No. <laughs> we are. We are, man. Exactly. I think it's just. I think it's just an alpha man thing. Yep. You know. Seriously, you just you fuck shit. It's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, yes, it it's a blessing and a curse. Yes, it is. You know, I say it all the time to my son. I said, Frank, you know, listen, listen, learn to deal with it. Yep. Learn to deal with it. Yep. Uh, it it's, yeah. Oh, guys, listen, man. That that was that was a good experience. Yeah, this was great, bro. Thank you. I like Frank. laughing, man. I like Thank laughing you. like bullshit and like talking, oh, yeah. man. It's good, man. Yeah, for absolutely. Sure, right? Listen, great you, great we got all the hard questions out, but you're down at the shore often. Yeah. If you ever just want to, Frankie and I, a lot. We won't have a guest, and we'll just come down here. We'll vibe. We'll kick it. Fuck You're you. more than welcome to sit on the couch yeah, and just kick it. By. You don't have to worry about any of the fucking hard hitting questions anymore. Nah, we can just no, vibe. No, no, okay we can just be that. bros down here. If you I'm ever want to come back, you're more than welcome, yeah, Frank. Absolutely, Listen, man. Listen, you said I'm right around the corner. Yep. Okay. Got the boat, the wave running. Yes. Your kids over. I tell you, all oh, the pool. Come on over, that's relax. Awesome. And that's what we like. We just love it, man. I appreciate awesome, you, brother. I appreciate you. Believe me, and I'll get you some good, bud. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'll get you some good, so you can tell me whether it's good <laughs> yeah. uh, we're excited though man we're excited for the i gotta give you you know you gotta rep i gotta give you some money. hell yeah bro absolutely. i'll rock absolutely. that all right absolutely. so frank katan you got your housewives yeah. of new jersey you gotta sign the board before you leave my yes. man absolutely. Yeah. absolutely get some photo ops in but we appreciate you thank you so much ladies if i didn't get the questions in if frankie didn't get the questions in we are sorry but i think we got put we them got in some, the comments we got some, put yeah the put them in the comments yeah, yeah. you got it. it was a exactly. pleasure guys thank you for having me man and here, yeah. find and follow us on YouTube, Rumble, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms. Mm -hmm. And 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 our other guest, the fly. The oh, the fly's been all over, man. <laughs> fly landed on me like he actually times. grabbed the mic from you yeah, at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to jump in, all right? He's like, let me let me let me add something. All right, thank you awesome. guys. Champ of the tramp out.